interesting because you'll actually get to see little Swiss hands working on all of these watches. <laughs> on little Swiss hands. On little Swiss hands. Ah, I see what you oh, mean. Yes. And then our third hour, Sorry. we're maxing out payments. Every single item in our third hour is going to be on six interest-free payments. So hours one and two will be about four and five payments across the board. Hour number six, I mean hour number three, everything number is on six, six payments. So we're going to kick things off with everything under $200. This is the time to start shopping. We'll jump into a little preview now and show you what's coming up first. Are you a little upset that we didn't get to go to Switzerland to do the video? I know. I, I saw that you were asking. Like, I wanted to see the oh, <laughs> like really. The red line. One day we'll be in Switzerland. We'll be like, we're coming to you from Lugano right now. In a conference room <laughs> at the of, airport. Instead of high, we're live at Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> 94929. It's back. The 45 millimeter meter. That's right. Classic, easy to wear, black and silver tone, Japanese chronograph quartz movement. You got to get that gift maybe for your uncle, your brother, your son, maybe first night of Hanukkah. It's a more affordable. $50 is the total price. But look at the stress free payments. $12.50 gets it home. We will ship it to your door for free after your first payment of $12.50. 949.29, five year warranty on that movement. Right behind that, we are delighted that we have had so much effort put into Ben and Sons over the, the last several months to just really reinvigorate some new designs to you. There is such a great following to these watches, and now with these new designs, we're seeing them literally fly out the door. 46 millimeter Voyager. It is an adventurer's watch. It really is a gentleman's watch who just has a flair for, for maybe just... Uh, taking it a little bit further and maybe you're just that person that wants to, to whether head off hiking biking or canoeing you want that watch that looks as as venturesome as you are the Voyager is just that watch I love that black dial and the brown genuine leather strap it is truly almost in a vintage military style but still something that dresses up that if you wore it to the office it's not going to stand out like a large and bulky diving watch might and look at the price. This watch should sell for that $275 price. 109 is what will be midnight on Sunday. But right now, only $64.99. And a super low payment of only $16.25 gets it home. 287681. Coming up right behind that, this is a watch that caught both of our attention. This is the Amici from Lucien Picard. Brand new 45 millimeters here in my favorite color combo. Black and rose. You've got a black textured dial. Check out the pops of red and white. And notice that for the dial hour markers, it's actually showcased as the minute scale with the expanded date window at the three o'clock position. That is a genuine black leather strap, Crocco embossed. $90 is the total price for payments here, $22.50. All of our brands, Ben & Sons, Lucian Picard, Redline, Swiss Legend, you get a five year warranty on the movements. 287-768. Now, we're going to jump into a presentation of our hot picks for the show. I went with something that we're actually going to be showcasing in our third hour. This is the 40 millimeter Brinkley 283056. Now, remember, every single item in our third hour will be on six stress free payments. So, this one, your price is 240 for a brand new Michael Kors, retails for 400 bucks. I've got it here for you. Your first payment of $40 will ship it. Now, Michael Kors is one of those quintessential all-American brands. And with watches, I really feel as though you'd be hard-pressed to find a lady that either doesn't own or at least doesn't love and appreciate Michael Kors watches. In fact, moms and dads, grandma, grandpa, if you're looking to get a gift for someone, maybe a teenage or a young woman in your life, maybe your daughter, your granddaughter, or a gentleman, even your own wife or girlfriend, Michael Kors is a safe bet, even if, and I know other ladies around here will agree with me, even if they're not as big of a watch collector as you might be, every lady would love a Michael Kors watch. And I believe I can say that with as a blanket statement across the board. I went with something a little unique here. When we come in closer, you'll see I've got this beautiful navy blue dial. Notice when the light hits it, it's almost like a sapphire blue. It's a very rich blue. In some lights, when it's a little bit darker, it almost appears black. You've got a chronograph movement, which really is reminiscent of what Michael Kors does, that sort of sport luxury design. And here, it's almost like the boyfriend watch gets blinged out. All around the bezel, you've got genuine crystals. And, and notice inside your dial as well, even more little bezel set crystals meant to look like diamonds. 
Now the polishing on the watch goes all the way around and you'll notice that the watch is actually a two-tone of rose and silver tone. So you've got this beautiful, unique two-tone timepiece and a really fun color combo, the silver tone and the rose, which I think complement each other so well. On the wrist, it's a 40 millimeter. This is what Michael Kors is known for, the oversized timepieces. Most of the time when we present Michael Kors watches, they're in that 38 and up case size. They do make them under 38 millimeters, but he's really popularized, again, what I'm calling the boyfriend watch. And that's the oversized, almost what's reminiscent of a gentleman's luxury timepiece, but made for a woman's wrist. And while it's 40 millimeters, notice how well it fits. Now I have a six inch wrist. It's a very average on the slimmer side, lady's wrist. Notice how from the side profile, it's not too big. It's not chunky. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a ridiculous, almost like, you know, sewer plate on my wrist. It fits well, but from a closer or far back look, you can see that it's got a full presentation. And I love that. Now, we all know Michael Kors. They're carried in the department stores, the high-end malls, all around the world. This is a watch, and you can look it up right now, the Brinkley that retails for $400. It's brand new. We've got it here for $240. So we're going to save you $160. If you stick around for the rest of this hour, that $160 you'd save buying this watch with us could buy you at least one or two more watches. So we're gonna save you 160 bucks. We're gonna package it and ship it to you for free in a matter of days. You'll have it within a matter of days, so to speak, in the original white Michael Kors box. Whether you choose to give this for the holidays or a birthday or just, you know what, for the heck of it on a Tuesday, it's going to be just as it would if you purchased it at the shopping mall. Except it's our little secret that you're saving $160. And if you so choose, you can just put $40 down and we'll honor that. $40 on any major credit card. You'll have five more monthly payments after that. December, January, February, March, and April. Here's the catch. You're already wearing it because we ship the watch after your first payment. It is the opposite of layaway because you get it right away. 283056. That's right. That was good, right? <laughs> you are a. It's amazing what comes to me. <laughs> you are a broadcast professional, oh, thank Megan you. Harris. Thank yes, you. That's you what are. I tell people. <laughs> it's on your card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's shift gears ever so slightly. Oh, yeah. Miss, Mr. Fancy Pants here. I'm sorry. This, this just jumped right <laughs> out of the vault onto my wrist. It did. And then I noticed that the security guard jumped out of the well, vault right yes. onto you. <laughs> and you know what? I like being tased. <laughs> I like being tased. Don't tell everybody what you do on the weekends, Wiley. You know, the electroshock therapy was very expensive. <laughs> now I just try to steal watches. It's like therapy all over again. Hello there, watch audience. Would you like a high-end timepiece at a ridiculously low price? Because here is a $7,300 Hublot. Now, being down here in Miami, Meg and I are taunted relentlessly because the billboards down here are for ultra high luxury items. That's right, Hublot I mean, being one of them. And it is. I mean, this area down here, Lamborghinis and Ferraris are as common as Hondas in some places. And and as you just pause for a moment to look at this beautiful timepiece, realize that this is one of those pinnacle pieces that we see advertised down here a lot. And maybe if you look at a major publication that has all the latest styles and designs in it, you're going to find Hublot right there as one of the trendsetters. Yeah, I think their slogan is, you can't afford us. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on looking. <laughs> but you know, if you did stop into a high-end jewelry store and they told you the watch you wanted was $7,300, well, there are folks out there that could easily purchase that. And there are others that would go, well, you know, if it was half that, or maybe if there was, you know, X number of thousands of dollars off, then I could give consideration. Or maybe you're just that person that you could easily write the check for $7,300, but you love a bargain. Mm -hmm. Let me just stress to you, this is brand new in the box. This is not gently used. It is not pre-owned. It is one of the watches that the last time we aired, one of the Super Bs, it sold out in preview. So I just want to let you know, if you're interested, do not hesitate. Now, what you're looking at is a 42 millimeter case, and I think that's just the right size because it's a classic size, and it fits very well on either a gentleman or a lady's wrist. And this is just that watch that I promise you is going to be comfortable. 
because uh, Hublot is using this natural rubber strap. They're the ones, in fact, the first ones back in 1980, after three years of development, that have been able to create a natural rubber strap. They introduced it at the Basel Watch Fair back in the day in Switzerland. And people did not think that, you know, a luxury watch deserved to have a rubber strap on it. Now you see it all the time. Now what you have is the Hublot 1400 movement that's inside the watch. That's a 23 joule automatic with 42 hours of power reserve. Now this is very similar to the Big Bang King Black Magic Hublot, but just slightly smaller. It has 30 meters of water resistance. The guilloche dial simply means this dial is hand decorated, hand done. The cabineteers that are the watchmakers have literally hand assembled everything about this all Swiss made watch. Now, not only do you have the time, the hours, and the minutes, you also have a continuously operating sweep hand at the 3 o'clock position as a small seconds. You also have your chronograph. Of course, you can see the additional subdials for the chronograph, and you also have a date complication between the 4 and 5 o'clock position. It is a stunning watch. There is no two ways about it. Now, this watch runs it. 28,800 vibrations per hour. That gives a level of accuracy to this watch that's going to put it right up there with just some of the best uh, chronometers that you're going to find. It's an all 316L stainless steel. You happen to have a sapphire crystal. Now, if I flip the watch over, you're going to see Hublot's own dual push button, single scissor deploy. Now, even though that this rubber strap is going to be very resilient and long lasting, to take the wear and tear of, of having to go through a buckle over and over again where eventually you would create a stress point, all you have to do is feed that rubber strap through the deployant. Once you size it to your size, you can see it's easy to do that internally. Then the deployant flips over, clips shut, and it makes it so that, again, how easy it is to just take care of that. You'll never have to buy a battery with an automatic watch because that rotor is going to rotate and when it does, it's going to wind the main spring, which is going to power that balance wheel that you're seeing right there, which is the beating heart of the watch. That's going to give you 42 hours of power reserve. So if you have various watches in your collection and you don't necessarily wear your automatic all the time, and maybe you haven't had a chance to purchase one of our great watch winders, which I'm going to suggest if you get an automatic watch, go ahead and throw a watch winder on the order. It's a nominal cost, and they're usually on sale on our website. Make sure you ask the operator about it. They can get you that, and then this will constantly stay ready to go. When it comes off the watch winder, you have 42 hours of power within that watch. I think this is incredible. It is beautiful all the way around. In fact, let me slip this on my six and three quarter inch wrist, almost seven inch wrist. I'm putting on weight, You're Megan. putting on weight. I'm serious. I'm trying to beef up my wrist. I'm tired of being, you know, oh, he's got the thin so wrist. Dainty. Huh? Dainty is not the word I'm going for, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that's another week of counseling right down the drain. <laughs> 291529 for the Ublow. Uh, Super B, I want you to see how a 42 millimeter watch wears on my wrist. I think this is great. Notice, even though there's a little bit of height on the watch, there is a smoothness to this case. Now, the Big Bang King Black Magic had a multi layered case, and it was uh, a bit less uniform than this or as smooth as this. This is ultra smooth. Now, because this is in a 316L stainless steel, if perchance you should ever get this scuffed or scratched up, you can take that to a jeweler and they can repolish it. The other case was ceramic and titanium. And even though that has a great ability not to scratch, if it did, you're going to have a much harder time polishing it back out. That watch was also much more expensive. Folks like the Hublot 42 millimeter Super B because you're getting all the functionality and the look of the Big Bang King Black Magic, but you're getting it at a fraction of the cost you are getting uh, something that's a little bit more wearable by being just slightly smaller, but in no means is the watch small. And part of the reason for that is if you notice the dial and the bezel, you also have the extension of where the lugs meet right here. So the shape of the watch is not completely round. It is, how would you, what would you describe that, Megan, when you have this extra bit of uh, material both at the top and bottom part of the lug? It's you know, I, I, it's interesting because it does almost have like that nautical slightly porthole design. Well, that's what Hublot means, yeah. it, it literally translated, porthole. 
I would just, I think it's part of just the extended lug. You could even see it almost like a modified to know shape. Yes, I think that's, I, that's, that's a great description, a modified to know. Oh, because, <laughs> <laughs> why, well, I'm right again. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Hope your boyfriend's watching. <laughs> 291529 for the Ublo Super B. I think it is one of the steals of the program. And to make it easy, five stress-free interest repayments of $900. And that's going to get you a $7,000 watch for the $44.99 price, and you don't have to pay it all off at once. That is wonderful. Money-back guarantee on that, and of course, free shipping. Now, right behind that, one of our own brands. That's right. Now, moving into our official start to our third, our first hour here. I can't believe I'm already mentally in the third hour. 94929, <laughs> the 45 millimeter meter. Now, interestingly enough, we used to have, or we still do carry, an automatic meter from Redline, but this is going to be the quartz chronograph version with the Japanese VD-53 with date movement inside. Is it, on our beauty shot there, is there a bit more gold tone that's showing up there than there really is? Is it looking completely silver? Because it is an all silver watch. I think. Oh yeah. The, it might actually be the reflection you'll notice of the, um, uh, the gotcha. shot that it's done. Because yeah, you can see, your, that's one of the things that I was saying in the, in the preview about it is, it's a very easy, straightforward mm -hmm. watch. It's almost the kind of watch like we were talking about your son a little bit ago. I could really mm. see a young man, or maybe even getting a young man his first starter watch, mm -hmm. or somebody else, maybe, perhaps you gentlemen watching at home, adding another watch to your collection. It really is something that could be that kind of beater watch. I don't like that expression, but you know, that sort of knock around watch. If you have opportunities to go places that might present peril to your timepiece, you may not want to wear your Hublot Super B. Mm, yeah, exactly. And if you have a designer watch like yours that happens to have crystals embedded in it, you would not necessarily want to be in a situation to knock one of those crystals out. This is you being able to go on vacation, being able to go places where maybe your watch might have a bit more peril, but realizing that you've only put $12.50 down on the watch and it's only $50 if you lost the watch, you haven't lost the farm. Exactly. You know, if you lose, if you damage the Hublot and you have to have it repaired, well, you know, that's a $4,000 watch. There's probably certain occasions you want to wear it, maybe to the office, maybe out to, you know, dinner and special occasions, or if it's your everyday watch, you wouldn't take it hiking, biking into the gym. No. This is a watch that allows you to take it to the red line head off on vacation, wear it to the office. Maybe you are going. Maybe you don't want to carry multiple watches with you. So you're to the office, you wear this watch. If you're going out to the gym later, or you know that you're going to be roughhousing a little bit, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you happen to have a watch that if something happened, well, it's not going to be the $4,000 loss. Now, the other side of this is, please understand, this is a watch that you know, we're gonna mark back up to right at $110. If you saw this in the department store for two or $300, that's easily the value of the watch. Now, I think our $695 price is high. That's just a little high for a red line that's not Swiss made. I think that's for comparison purposes. You always have us be straight up with you. If we think the retail or the list price is too high, uh, I think it is a little bit on this one. But at $200, you are in very, very fair territory for this quality watch. At $100, you've got a great bargain. At $49, uh, you've got one of the deals of the show. Uh, is this the lowest price uh, uh, stress-free payment, $1,250? Is there anything that's going to run less than that? Well, I think in our third hour, when everything is on six payments, oh, we well, yeah, will probably, right. we could potentially run into something that's about this price. But I would say... Fifty dollars is probably our lowest price That's watch amazing. of the show. Isn't that incredible? Well, being able to get a quality timepiece. No, I mean, I, I, you know, there are folks in the studio are saying it does not, in any way, shape, or form, look like a fifty-dollar watch, and. I guess because we're around so many high-end timepieces, mm -hmm. you get a chance to compare and contrast. And sometimes when people hand me one of their, you know, the discount watch, ooh, I just picked this up at the big box store, or, you know, I bought some underwear and socks and a watch. And they show you the watch, and hopefully not the underwear, then you <laughs> suddenly go, wow, that's, that's amazing that they're held together. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. I'm not kidding. I mean, sometimes there are watches people buy, and the battery will last longer than the watch. 
Megan, what is our warranty on this red line? Five year warranty always on all of our company owned brands. And that's another thing, you know, talking about when you spend just $50. A lot of times with brands, you'll either maybe get a one year warranty? A one at the most. For $50, most of the time you don't even get a warranty, right? It's just a 30 day return policy. Yes. But here, it's a five year warranty on every single one of our own watches. That's incredible. And if I understood correctly, that's not just the movement. That's for manufacturer of defects. Of course, so, absolutely. I mean, if, I mean, if you suddenly, you know, get this caught in a trash compactor, uh, we can't replace the bracelet. But should there be a manufacturer defect, even in the bracelet or in another component of the watch, then that falls under the warranty. It's not just the movement. It's not like, well, that's great. You put, you know, a great movement in there. But what happens when the crystal falls out? <laughs> if it's within that five-year period of time and it's obviously a manufacturer's defect, we're going to take care of you. We, you can't get as big as we are by not taking care of your customers. 94929, the red line, 45 millimeter meter, I think you're going to be impressed and only $12.50 gets it home. That's a great watch to give if maybe you've got like to do a stocking stuffer or a secret Santa at the office. 283085, going up a little bit in price here. The 44 millimeter Optima from Lucien Picard, you've recently made this your hot pick on the show. I believe it was last oh, week. Oh, I liked this watch. Two options to share with everybody today. You know what? It's kind of nice because for those out there that are craving that skeletonized mm -hmm. dial, you mm -hmm. want to see a portion of the inner workings of your timepiece. What's nice about these is that you get that, but it's not so complicated, so busy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we will show you and you'll see in the next three hours today and tomorrow, we have something for everyone. You don't want that, as you mm -hmm. saw with the red line. We have something very simple, something very clean. Now, we're going to go up a little bit in the look, in perhaps the style and aesthetic. And every single watch will be a little bit different. And that's what we love. So right now, we can present to you the exact same watch, but in two completely different color combos. So it's almost like mm -hmm. completely different personalities, much like you would see here. I have multiple personalities. <laughs> and I, His real name is Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the watches that if you're looking for that classic dressy timepiece, that one that you can literally, I mean, no apologies about the watch whatsoever. In fact, people are going to want to see the watch. Why? Because the movement that's taking place within the dial is going to draw eyes right in. And just like Megan was talking about, as we draw in even closer on this watch, you're going to see it's like a skeletonized movement. But it is simply a cutaway. And notice the, the two shapes that are so popular within the watch world because they're part of timekeeping is the sun or the moon. Mm -hmm. And here is a crescent moon cutout that allows you to see the open beating heart of the watch. And it's got that beautiful filigree bridge across that allows you to see not only into the inner workings, but some of the cabineteers decorations that take place within the watch. You also can even see all the way down to the escapement. See that little cog that's moving? You're looking at the escapement and it really looks fantastic. My manicure looks wonderful. <laughs> now I think this really, really looks great. Now if you take a look at the watch, you're going to notice that uh, it's one of the watches that I think has such a classic look all the way around. Look at that. When you see that right there. That's gorgeous. It really is. And to realize that's all hand done. There's not like a machine stamping these out already like that. There's just too much detail work. No, somebody actually sits over that and with a little engraving tool does each and every one of those designs. They really are artists. It is absolutely beautiful. And the thought that this watch is only $144.99, I mean, that's unbelievable. Now, you also have 50 meters of water resistance. The watch is 316L, stainless steel. And, you know, I think the fact that it's a dress watch and it still has that much water resistance lets you know that, you know, you've heard me say this a thousand times. You get pushed in the pool or caught in the rain, the watch is still going to hold up. Now, take a peek at how it looks on the wrist. It's a little large, at least it's going to maybe appear at first, because you see a lot of dial. It's a very thin bezel. You know, on a sport watch, you have a thicker bezel on the watch. With a luxury watch, it's going to be a bit smaller. Of course, the Japanese automatic PTS movement is going to be reliable, it's going to be accurate, and there are no apologies whatsoever about that Japanese movement. It really does look good. 
Now, I want you to see that there is a generous amount of strap. And before we switch over um, to the to the long shot, so you can show our other style. If you do have a uh, deployment clasp and you have the leather that's on here, once you feed that through, you have just a little tiny clip right here that allows it to snap into any one of the settings. Once that does, all you need to do is feed the strap in there, and that way when it closes, it's already in there, and then it's going to make just the size that you need. I think that when you see both this combination of the silver and the white, and you think that looks elegant, look at what Megan has. I think it's beautiful. I love that we're changing the plating, which you'll see in a moment, getting with the watch that I have, Myris, which is the exact same, and in fact, mm -hmm. I'll hold them up next to each Please. other. The black and silver tone, definitely, mm -hmm. I think, going to be very popular for a lot classic. of people out there. Very classic. Mm -hmm. But if you want something maybe a little bit dressier, certainly more unique, I've got one that's got rose tone plating. And as many of us know, or if you aren't familiar, rose gold, much more expensive mm -hmm. in jewelry and in watches, of course. And also, it's got kind of that vintage luxury to it. I think when you transition to the rose, it definitely has mm -hmm. a very, very high-end look. And because this looks like such an expensive watch, it appears to be a solid rose gold timepiece. Now notice, this is the one down here Wiley just had, and I'm holding up against the rose tone. You can see that the rose offers such a beautiful warmth. It's just got a little bit something extra all of your Roman numeral hour markers, hand applied, done in rose tone. Again, you can see that gorgeous crescent moon cutaway with the filigree bridge going across the heartbeat of your movement right there. That is the escapement and balance wheel harmonizing for the synchrony of time. That is what we call the heartbeat of your movement. Very easy to wear on the wrist at 44 millimeters. You can see that there's a lot of generous strap down here. I could make this even tighter on my six inch wrist. So it's just comfortable. It's oversized, but if you've got a slim wrist, you can still very easily wear it. Imagine if you will, giving something like this as a gift for the holidays. When you open the box or when the person you love opens the box and they can see into the watch themselves, at the automatic movement. There is something so special about that. Because if you think about a quartz movement, it's a battery. And quartz movements are great. I have a ton of quartz watches. But something like an automatic or a mechanical means that actual hands work together to put the watch movement together. So your watch in some ways almost has a soul to it. There is so much more than just a little battery that sends a charge that keeps the watch ticking. This is all about springs and gears that work together to keep time. I mean, just think about that for a moment, how complicated that seems, and it is. And yet, you've got it right here on your wrist. So easy to then be able to look right in through that dial and see that. $150. Your first payment is $30. If you want to break it out this way, think of it as a dollar a day. And that's interest free. It's not $30 the first payment and then there's interest and then the price goes up and the price goes up. It's $30 a month. That's it. We ship it to you brand new in the box. What's great about the warranties is they go into effect the moment we send you the watch. So there isn't any paperwork. You don't have to call up our customer service department. Whether you're keeping it for yourself or you're giving it as a gift, it's all taken care of the moment it ships. 283086, the 44 millimeter Optima. Going back to one of our own brands here, we've got two more variations of another watch. I love that we always show different options. 288305, that's the item number for the silver tone and black. We're gonna have the more classic. I like that we've got almost a silver tone and black option for every mm -hmm. single one. And then for those of you who maybe want to experiment with a wilder style or more color, we're almost showing a classic and then a little bit more of a unique one. So first, we'll show you the 50 millimeter jet stream, which is a newer style from Redline here in what I would call the classic. Even though when you get a closer look at the watch, you see that it's not necessarily classic watch, it's a super sporty timepiece. 
Well, every person is different, and being able to offer a watch that has a personality itself, we want it to fit you. So we, you'll notice with a lot of our styles, particularly our own brands, we're going to exactly as Megan said, offer a variety of choices so you can find just the right one. Even at times when we're looking at something, it's hard to know what is she going to like? Which one am I going to pick? And it, you, that's why you at home happen to have that 30 day money back guarantee that if you get this home and you go, man, I wish I would have gotten the other one. Don't worry, we're gonna take care of you. You always shop with confidence. And Megan is right. This is a bit more classic because you're using that combination of the stainless steel, but this time in that brushed finish, almost looking like titanium. It's not, but it has a very similar look. And as we come in even closer, you're going to be able to see that texture in that matte finish. Now, the more sporty of the two is going to be the black. It isn't that funny, you have a watch called the Jet Stream, and you have one that's sporty and then one that's super sporty. The watch happens to have three movements inside. Notice right here you have what would be your primary movement, which has the hour, the minute, and a continuously operating sweep hand. Then, as you draw it even closer, you'll notice there are two additional movements. Well, how do you set those? Take a peek. We didn't want to complicate the watch and the case by having multiple crowns that were exposed that really kind of just give it a, a more cluttered look. If you're going to have a watch called the Jetstream, shouldn't it be uh, smooth and sleek? Well, that's exactly what we've done here. We've created a very smooth and sleek looking watch. And it's almost like instrumentation that you would find in a luxury personal jet or maybe in a luxury car. And as you look at it, there really is a great feel. Now, Redline is all about just that, taking it to the red line. Maybe you're that person that travels an awful lot. Well, now you can have three time zones. Maybe, like me, you happen to have friends or family scattered across the country or across the world. I have a kid in college right now. Now I can take a look and go, I wonder if he's made it back to the dorm. I better call him right now. <laughs> or there could be any number of reasons that you'd want to have the multiple time zones. This allows you at a glance. Yes, I realize we are very accustomed to looking at our smartphones to see what time it is, but you don't always get to see time around the world at a glance. Here, three distinct time zones on one very distinctive watch. You're also going to appreciate that silicone strap. It is incredibly pliable and soft. It's one of the ones you're gonna to find to be so comfortable. And notice the natural shape. Without doing a thing, this does not lay flat. It begins to automatically take the shape of the wrist. And that is going to make the watch wear very, very comfortably. Notice you have a natural curvature in the case and lug itself. Because it's a big watch, it's 50 millimeters. But because of that natural curvature, it's gonna lay on the wrist. Now, I would have told you that a 50 millimeter watch is going to be too large for my wrist, not so. Let me slip this on, and I want you to see how it looks. Now, in my little magic trick, I'm going to turn this beautiful silver watch into all black IP plating. Watch this. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Now, I like the other one. Jenny, which one do you like? Uh, uh, Rudy, which one? Oh, I have one silver, one black, and Tanya? Well, okay, we have two for the black, one for the silver, and that just shows you there is a lot of different opinions based on the style, and we want the right one for you. I happen to like the all black because it's it somehow just makes it feel a little smaller when it's it, you don't see all the components like you do with the other one. I think this just looks larger to me. Black is always slimming. Oh, it's kind of hard to slim down a 50 millimeter watch, but I think this is a great version of it. The watch would normally sell for $189. Well, that's a lot of money, but you also have three movements. Each one of the movements is covered under that five-year warranty. So don't worry, if, you ha if something happened to one movement and then you had to have the watch serviced because something else happened, well, that would be a lot of things going wrong. I don't anticipate that, but if you did, it's all covered under that five-year warranty. Now, take a peek, because we're taking $90 off of our sale price. The watch is it's under 100 bucks. That's a lot of watch, and this is a very stealthy-looking watch to have three movements in it. Only $25 gets it home. 
That's your first of four stress-free, interest-free payments, and there is a money-back guarantee, and you don't have to hunt down a coupon. We happen to have free shipping. I don't know about you, but I hate when I find something on sale online, and then you look at the shipping and you go, seriously? You're adding 30% to the cost of my product with all the shipping and handling and hidden fees. Uh, we're applicable, there is sales tax, we do not have control of that, but we do make sure that you have free shipping. And if you have to return it, we're also gonna pay for it to come back here to us. Do not hesitate, 288306 will get you the jet stream. Now, Ben & Sons almost has a cult following. People just love, people just People just love the Ben and Son watches, and I think they look great. Now, when you we realize this is a 46 millimeter watch, it doesn't necessarily look or feel that large. It feels much more of that classic style and size. When you take a peek at it, there is such an adventurous quality to the Voyager. It really does look like one of those watches that's going to be uh, ready to travel when you are. And I really like this. I know that Megan loves Ben and Son watches. And, you know, she's a girly girl at any given time. I mean, she is sophisticated. She is truly a lady. And yet... Oh, keep going. I'm, am I reading it like you wrote it, dear? <laughs> but there is something about the watches that have kind of a rough and rugged feel to them that mm -hmm. just, I don't know. There is, is it kind of a, a thing with girls that maybe they, they like to just step out of what might be considered somebody's characterization yeah, of Yeah, I think so. I think it's kind of fun being that I'm a watch collector that you have different options. I mean, maybe this wouldn't be my everyday watch, like it could perhaps be a gentleman's, but there's something sort of fun about thinking that every now and then you're able to sort of play around with your style or your personality. Now, the thing is, most of the time with retail, you can't always do that. You know, if you look into yeah, if you look into mm -hmm. fashion magazines or what people are wearing and you see the latest trends, sometimes it can be really expensive to want to follow those or experiment with your style. But what's great about here, especially this whole first hour where everything's under two hundred dollars, it's kind of nice to think if I see a Ben and Sons watch, well, mm -hmm. you know what? Even if I wear it a couple times a month or, you know, I wear oh, it every yeah. now and then, I can afford it with the stress-free payments. That's mm -hmm. interest-free every month. So that's what I think I like about Ben & Sons is it's just a little different. I tend to like when we air a lot of the men's high-end Swiss-made watches like mm -hmm. Bell & Ross watches and Quorum. I like things that are a little bit more industrial and vintage. So that's what I think I like so much about Ben & Sons. And this is pulling from a lot of that. This is a vintage look. It's a military look. There's even just a slight bit of aviation look to it. You can see an old style aviator possibly wearing this watch. But what's really popular right now is a much more rugged look for men. I mean, that's why that whole lumberjack thing is out like there. Like here, the beard. Yeah, I did that just for the show. <laughs> this peels off. But what I think is really great is you can look at the men's magazines and you do see the guys with the beards and mm -hmm. you know the plaids and all the stuff. It's that is called lumber sexual. That's what it means when you like uh, men with beards and plaid and all of that. If I like men with beards. Let's just move <laughs> on, Megan. <laughs> what, what we're trying to say. Yeah, weird in here. <laughs> not really. <laughs> what, <laughs> they're fanning themselves off camera going, we're going to be pulled. They're going to pull the plug. <laughs> that rugged look is very much in. If you look at a, a gentleman's uh, fashion magazine, you're going to find it's going to be uh, tweeds and plaids and it's going to be vintage, almost English mm -hmm. English countryside kind of look. But you look at those watches, okay, that's great if you want to pay $1,000 oh, for yeah. that look. Or, you know, even at $300, $275 for the look, well, what if that look goes out in six months or even two years? Well, you know, here by placing, you know, a movement like the Miota 2035 Made in from here. Citizen. By being able to keep the cost down by eliminating the minute uh, the, the middleman and being able to give people just really the best value, here is a fashion accessory, a great timepiece, a five-year warrantied watch for under sixty-five dollars. So I think it really looks great. Only sixteen dollars and twenty-five cents to get it home, and you're getting a lot of watch, a lot of adventure and a lot of style for a fraction of the cost. But maybe you need to dress it up a bit. 
and uh, this is a great choice. We're just going to show a mention on this uh, with the beauty shot. Take a peek just for a second. This is that same watch, but this time, look at how it changes everything by just two color changes. This one is within, great. One, Sorry for interrupting. Please. But I was going to say, this is great because it really is a complete departure. You know, you can see that the case and the dial is the same as when it's on mm -hmm. the leather strap. But this is the only variation that employs the stainless steel mesh bracelet. And of our company-owned brands, it's only the second watch, the Lucien Picard Fidelity. Fidelity. And then other than that, when you think about the stainless steel mesh bracelet, what do you think? The Transocean, that $8,000 Breitling watch. So to have that kind of style, that cool aesthetic, I like that we're doing it. And yet, it's still very approachable, silver tone and black. Still a 46 millimeter case, still a Citizen Miyota movement inside. $17.50 it ships. 287682. This one's more industrial than the other. Mm -hmm. The other adventurous watch, the Voyager, uh, did not have that same kind of almost 1950s, 1960s yeah, space NASA true. feel. I like that watch. How about shifting gears one more time with one of our own brands, Lucien Picard, you know, a great watchmaker since 1923. We now have taken the reins of Lucien Picard owning that company. And we have two variations of a brand new style. It's only been weeks that the world has seen this, and it's just now making its way into department stores and retail locations. Expect to pay much higher than our wow price of 209. If you see this at 250, 300, 350 dollars in department stores, well, then you know that they are completely within a retail realm. We are not in a retail realm. World of Watches and WOW TV specialize in bringing you the lowest price possible. And here, with the Murano, we've done just that. Now, do you have a favorite between these two, Megan? It's so funny because they're both very, very beautiful. I like this one with the silver, or I guess the gunmetal center chapter to the dial. Because I believe that's the, is that the gunmetal in the center? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I like that it's... It allows that sort of texture to showcase through. But I don't know. It's really hard to choose. Black and rose is always my favorite color combo. So Pick I one. really think that you can't, you can't really lose. I'll take the one that's got the gunmetal silver dye. I like you start that with the all black one. I think this is a very classic look. Now, the one you have more easily shows the, the Venetian mm -hmm. blind style <laughs> um, dial on there. And I... I really, really like this one, though, because it takes a moment for the eye to really capture the detail that is within this watch. And as we draw an even closer on it, you're going to be able to see that even more so. And it's really changing by the light. Because when you look at it like this, you see almost a solid dial. When the light catches it, you see all that texturing that you realize this is a multi-layered dial. You have one layer, which is the very back, which is the lighter color. You have that secondary layer, which is that kind of mesh or Venetian style. Then you have that outer chapter ring that has the Arabic numeral at the 12 and 6 o'clock plus all of the stick markers for the time. Speaking of time, you have a three-hand configuration. You have the hour, the minute, and a continuously operating sweep hand if you're willing to start that chronograph right there. And you can leave that running or you can certainly use it just in the chronograph function. Notice that you also have a date complication right there at the 6 o'clock position. Now, this is just one of those watches that you're going to very, very much appreciate its style as time goes on. I mean, look at that. Look at the high mirror polish that's on the hour indices that you only capture when the light hits it just right. It has kind of a matte finish at times, and then you see the multiple textures. Easy to operate the chronograph start, stop, and reset. You have almost an onion-style crown, and you have a high mirror polish back on the watch. Of course, that's going to be a, the Japanese movement on the inside, the Safatec crystal, virtually, uh, it's, it's scratch-free. You're going to have a very hard time damaging that, all the way down to uh, the 316L stainless steel. I have a Lucien Picard watch that I wear a lot at home mm -hmm. that has a Safatec crystal, and a couple of months ago when I was traveling and I was in Alaska, I wore this one mm -hmm. Lucien Picard watch on a rubber strap every single day and we were hiking and fishing and biking and doing How all these did it things. Do? It was great. I mean it was really, mm -hmm. really good. And at one point I was on a fishing trip on this vacation that I was on mm -hmm. and the fishing I had to, you know, like really try to 
what's it called when you're casting and then trying to re reel in your mm -hmm. your catch and the fishing pole was scraping against the watch and I kept thinking oh my god I'm ruining this watch I'm ruining this watch not a mark on it so while you can say that it's very scratch resistant uh, I can tell you right now they are virtually indestructible the Safatec crystal so there's something to be said. Well, maybe this isn't a watch you're going to be doing all of that in, but it's nice to know that with the material, oh, sure. you can kind of have that if you were to bang your, your wrist into something or if you're typing at a desk or what have you. It's sort of nice to know that you're very, very protected with that. Well, and even with a dress watch, you know, you're walking by the water cooler, the, the um, copy machine, something. There's inevitably, everybody has either dropped their phone or banged their watch. And being able to know that that 316L stainless steel can be polished, if heaven forbid it had to be, you know, a, plated because you took a deep gouge into mm -hmm. it. But knowing that the crystal—that's what ages a watch. Yes, is when I true. see a watch that the case has got scuffs on it. Well, that's just part of life. When the glass is scratched, it starts cheapening the watch. And if you have a sapphire crystal watch, rarely will you see a scratch in that. I mean, I had a friend that I loaned a Renato to. Mm -hmm. And he went out and was um, a couple of sheets to the wind. <laughs> he sounds fun. You would really appreciate it. I would it. like him a lot. Yeah, you would. <laughs> he literally stepped out of the establishment, mm -hmm. or escorted out one of the two, and fell. Oh, and no. literally the watch hit and scraped across oh, the concrete. Stinks. It was the first time that I saw sapphire begin to just even begin to show marks on it. And the last time you saw him, I imagine. You better believe it. <laughs> Please note that the Safatec crystal has the same properties as that sapphire crystal. It's going to have that same level of scratch resistance. Can you shatter it? Yes, just like sapphire. Just like if you give me a diamond, it's, it's the hardest clear substance, mm -hmm. but you can still shatter it with a hammer. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, it's similar to that. Now, I want you to see another style and tell me which one you like best. So this is the one that I was partial to, the gunmetal outer ring on the dial. And then where Wiley had a full gunmetal dial, they've replaced that on my choice with the light silver tone. So here you really can see a bit more into those beautiful textures. I like that you describe it as almost like a Venetian blind because that's really what it allows you to do is sort of peek into the dial. You've got the same two-eye chronograph, which gives it more of that vintage appeal because most chronographs, especially in the beginning when watches were transitioning from three hands to chronograph, just had two subdials. So that's what you've got here. And interestingly enough, one of the subdials, actually the one at the three o'clock position, that's your AM PM indicator. And then the one at the nine o'clock position, when you start and stop your chronograph, that's where it keeps the time is right there for that. So I like that you've got that sort of vintage look, but it's also a very straightforward chronograph movement. Oh, and did you notice that? It's also the first Lucian Picard timepiece to employ a flyback chronograph. If you look at an automatic chronograph movement, when it starts and stops, it always snaps back. Quartz chronograph movements traditionally continue to make their way around the dial. Look at this one, though. It snaps back, almost like an automatic chronograph movement would. That is very, very cool. And also, at this moment, the only Lucian Picard to employ what you can call a flyback chronograph, which is, while it's not the same movement, of course, but a similar sort of feel and aesthetic as your hot pick, your you blow. But what's nice about that, because the so what on why a flyback mm -hmm. is if you had to stop and reset and you needed to time something very quickly that was moving at a high rate of speed, you don't have to wait for the sweep hand to make it all the way around. It instantly snaps back yep. and then you can begin retiming once again. And that's considered a high end feature on automatic watches. And here with this beautiful quartz movement, you have the same feature and you're going to have to jump up to a $4,000 watch on the show to get the same thing. 287-723, five-year warranty, of course, $24 and five payments. Moving on to another Michael course, the 39 millimeter Parker. I almost made this my pick, but I went with the Brinkley, which of course we'll show you again in a couple of minutes. But I love this watch. You know, I'm always partial to navy blue. I think that navy blue is one of those great colors that if you've got a lot of black and brown and even gray, another great neutral that perhaps doesn't get enough airtime and 
fashion or accessories like it should. But navy is that perfect color, I think, year round. If you like to wear darker colors or have darker accessories, but you want something more than just basic black. It just adds a high fashion look. It adds a nice bit of interest. And it's every bit that great neutral that black would be. This is beautiful, imagine if you will, wearing a pair of blue jeans, wearing it with a crisp white shirt. That rich navy blue for the genuine leather strap, I think pairs just gorgeous with the mirror polished gold tone on the timepiece. Now again, we are looking at an oversized Michael Kors. This is a 39 millimeter. In speaking to my girlfriends, my mom, and some other women in my family and whatnot, when girls ask me what I think about oversized timepieces, I always encourage ladies to try it out. You don't have to go into the 40 plus millimeter cases if you don't want to, but I really believe that if you want something a little oversized, something that's got a bit of a presentation, try something in the 38, 39 region. That way it's bigger, so it's got a little bit more of that very fresh, very modern feel, but it's not so big and uncomfortable that it can border on ridiculous. And we know there are watches like that. Heck, sometimes we present watches that are so big, I think to myself, well, I'm glad that there are people out there that like it, perhaps not for me. But I think that this size at 39 millimeters is a true perfect size. I mean. Just look at it on my wrist and notice that it's not even on the tightest closure. It's very, very easy to have an even smaller wrist than mine and wear this quite well. It's got a full presentation because all that monochromatic gold is then framed by crystals set to look like diamonds. And Michael Kors uses genuine Austrian crystals. Chronograph inside the dial, once again, going back to what I was calling that sport luxury style, you get the sportiness and the convenience of the chronograph, should you so choose to use it. But you've also got that great luxury to where it doesn't feel like a men's watch. It's a ladies timepiece all the way. Notice what we call T-bar style lugs. You can see that it's not perfectly strapped right up into case. There's a little bit of that separation there. And that's for the T-bar style lugs. Look at how that enables a larger case to fit around the wrist. Do you see that the strap is pulled immediately around my wrist? If I had a larger wrist, it would do the same thing, smaller. It's almost like the lugs sort of fold around your exact anatomy. And that means that even if you've got a tinier wrist or a larger wrist, because check out the generous strap length on here, everybody gets a fit and feel that almost makes it seem it was custom for them. This is a $225 Michael Kors. Google it, bing it, go into the department stores. The Parker is a $225 Michael Kors. It's $145 right now. Even better are the payments. You're at under a dollar a day. I'm always gonna encourage the payments. If you came into the show with a budget, let the payments work for you. Two to six, nine, 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 Navy and Gold Parker. You know, when you have those lugs at offshoot at the 12 and six o'clock, that's a carriage style case. Mm -hmm. And it literally looks like it's just kind of floating there with the strap, you know, slightly distant away from it. So elegant, so feminine. I'm glad that that was on the show. Ladies, you've made an excellent choice if you've picked that watch. Now, maybe you uh, like a larger watch, ladies, but gentlemen, uh, or ladies who want to purchase for gentlemen, here is a great, great classic style and timepiece. And you have never seen this aired on the show before. Megan, one of the first things you'll notice when you pick up this watch is its weight. Yeah. I mean, I'll go ahead and hand you the, uh, oh, wow. the blingy of her. You really don't expect that. No, because not at this price point. One of the things that our watch designers have done, particularly Niso Barocas. He's the creative director, yep. Yeah. Was that why are we using lightweight cases even on quartz watches? Mm -hmm. Don't they deserve the weight and feel of luxury watches or automatic watches? Because we talk about that sometimes, about sure. how when, you, when we pick up a high-end watch on the show, you're like, oh, you know this is expensive. It's like touching when you have that nice leather wallet or handbag. It's, you just can know. tell the difference. You just know. It's nice that even at an affordable price, you can still feel that luxury. You know, it's, it's a quote from Jurassic Park. 
back in the day. Okay. Because one of, one of the characters tells a kid, he goes, put that down, it's expensive. The kid says, how do you know it's expensive? He goes, is it heavy? He goes, yeah. He goes, it's expensive. Oh, yeah. Because there's just that moment we, we assess if it has weight to it, if it has heft mm -hmm. to it, that there's certainly a value to it. Well, this watch is not lightweight. They've made sure that the case was sturdy. It's the exact same case you would find in an automatic watch but here in this great quartz movement. It's a 45 millimeter case. It's a three hand configuration with the hour, the minute continuously operating sweep hand. You have 100 meters of water resistance and notice within that beautiful textured dial, you have an open date window. It's exposed. You have three different uh, dates you can see and of course the arrow pointing to the middle date, but it's almost just a peek inside to the inner workings to let you know there's a wheel in there. I think it's really cool and I love the pop of color that you see. That's a little unexpected in the watch. It would be easy just to make it all silver or to add maybe a touch of gold in there. Just a little bit of red is nice. What do you think? I yes, like this. No? I actually, why don't you try on, I know I've got this one on my wrist, but the 45 millimeter is a little big. I want everybody mm -hmm. to be able to see it on your wrist. Okay. We're going to transition maybe to the rose tone. Did the leather is nice, that? right? It's nice and padded Heavy too. Heavy padding on that. That is really nice. Again, when you think about a luxury automobile, sometimes you think of that, that diamond stippled leather that you might see in a Bentley or in a high-end car. The same sort of padded leather that's on the strap is just bespoke of luxury. And I cannot believe this is under $85. Well, it's also really comfortable if you're wearing a watch Absolutely. for a long period of time because it also begins to sort of conform to your wrist. It's like that great belt you have or that one pair of jeans that really every time you put mm -hmm. it on, it's just like that relaxed feel. It's nice that the leather, while the first time or so, it might seem a little stiff, because it's so padded, it's very, very comfortable to wear. And then after a day or so at the office wearing this watch, it just becomes like a second skin. Well, and I think you're also going to notice with a thick leather like this, it begins to take your shape in time. This is one of the watches, as you'll notice right there, it lays completely flat. The leather has to be conditioned like an old pair of Levi jeans. You know, when you first get them, you don't know anything about this. Levi jeans, you remember, used to be very stiff, and then you'd put them on, you'd soak in a tub of water, they'd eventually shrink to you. She has no idea what I'm talking about. That's the way we used to do it back in the day, you know, and that's why you're gonna buy this watch. You're gonna, oh, it's like buying a pair of Levi. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's gonna be as comfortable and as well-fitting as those comfortable jeans that are made just for you. This is a great look and it is an awful lot of luxury. I mean, that, which one do you think, silver or gold? I like rose. Yeah, the gold in this really, really does dress up wonderfully. Look at that and look at how much, I've got it on the tightest configuration, but look up at how generous interest. Yeah, up to a nine-inch Yeah, up to a nine-inch wrist. Go back to the dial for a moment. Do you see how yeah, when the light hits it, how it's almost a two-piece dial? Look at that. Oh, yeah. That outer edge is smooth where you've got the Roman numeral and stick hour markers, but then as you were saying, like that almost stippling or diamond pattern, mm -hmm. look at that right there, right in the center chapter of the dial. But you can see that that's a separate piece and Bit that of blue. flash of blue anti-reflective coating over all the new Lucian Picard watch. Because that would be completely whited out. And that little bit of blue that's still allowing you to see through mm -hmm. it is the anti-reflective. Here you've got anti-reflective coating. You've got all of this gold plating. You've got a heavily padded genuine leather strap. And you have the extra heavy case for under $90. So $22.50 could get somebody's $500 Christmas present home, but you're only paying $89. How about this? Go ahead and put this on a credit card for only $22.50. We'll pay for shipping. Get it home, open it up, look at it, compare it. While he's sleeping, slip it on his wrist, see if it's the right fit. And if it is, <laughs> then just wrap it. It's just a thought. He's one hell of a sleeper. <laughs> Some people are. <laughs> There's so many funny things to say. No, no, I'm pausing right there because I'm editing. I'm editing. In his brain? I, if that's the best place. I was going to make a comment about you being a sound sleeper, then I thought that sounded inappropriate. So I wouldn't say I that out loud. I told you to stop watching me while I sleep. It's weird. <laughs> 287 and away we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're that's now... Nice we're upping the ante, so to speak. This is an hour where every single item is going to be Swiss made. Really? We're gonna talk yeah. about all different kinds of brands. We're gonna show you things from some of our own brands like Swiss Legend, You Blow, we've got Breitling in there, Accutron Ooh. by Bulova, Luminox, mm. we have everything. And 
for those of you not familiar with what it means when we see a watch that has a Japanese movement or is mm -hmm. assembled in China versus, well, what's the big deal about a Swiss-made watch? We'll explain some of that oh, as yeah. the show goes. So even if you're not familiar, maybe this is an hour where you're not going to be shopping because prices will go up a bit. But remember, you always have the low price and the stress-free payment. So you might be thinking, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to afford anything for the next hour. That might not necessarily be true because this first item in our preview kind of proves everybody can afford Swiss made. Okay, this just blows me out of the water because I really expected, as did you, that when Swiss Legend went to all Swiss, the prices were just shooting through the roof. And somewhere, somewhere within this company, somebody decided, don't do it yet. You know, I mean, yeah, because you could, I mean, you can't drop much lower than this because when you see the craftsmanship within this watch, you know, the ISA 8361 movement, you know, which took five years to develop and to perfect, is brand new. It, you know, just like with the, the coaxial uh, escapement that you find within Omega, you know, why did it take so many generations before they finally updated and created that? Nobody thought about it and then suddenly, boom, here at at uh, ISA, they were able to take five years to develop and create a movement that is more accurate, is more reliable than what's been out there before. And it's not that what was out there before was bad. Now, this is the 48 millimeter Blue Genève. And you'll notice there is a perfect match between that dial and that bezel. It almost looks like one piece, and you realize there's a piece of beautiful crystal separating the two. There is a five-year warranty. Is this this uh, Safatec crystal on mm -hmm. this? Ten-year warranty on that Safatec crystal. On ten-year on that, and five-year within that movement, and then of course five years all the way around for the uh, the complete construction of the watch, because that five-year movement is to the reliability of the entire structure. That is phenomenal. Now, do you like this one? I do. We have a couple options to show of this watch, but before that. Moving on to Raymond Weil, another item up in our preview. We're going to have two variations of the 35mm mm. Jasmine. This, so to speak, is the more pared down version because we've got a blinged out version that I almost made my hot pick. 216479, it's stunning. 35 millimeters. There is a fluidity and a symmetry to this watch that is just so gorgeous. Everything just blends together so well. Now. This is what I meant when I was talking about, yes, you might be able to afford Swiss made because this is a $1,700 watch for 500 bucks. I mean, think about that for a moment, ladies. You're in the mall, you see those handbags, they're marked down to $500 from 1,700 or that fabulous pair of shoes or that jacket you've had your eye on. And then the lady says, oh, you know what? We're doing a special today. You don't even have to put $500 down, put $100 down and it's yours. That's what we're doing right now with a watch you will own and wear the rest of your life. 216479, the 35 millimeter Jasmine. Now, following right behind that is the Maurice Lacroix 45 millimeter Masterpiece. Now, when you see this watch, which is a mechanical watch, and you turn around the back, that is where all the artistry is. Yes, that is a beautiful hand done dial, but the 20 jewel automatic that you see in the back of this watch is truly the superstar of the show. Now, you're gonna realize that it's all handmade, it is an all Swiss watch, but that beautiful Maurice Lacroix movement in the back is truly the superstar. You're gonna be able to look into the structure of the back of the watch because it is an all sapphire, the, the entire back of the watch. You're not just talking about an exhibition window. The entire back of the watch, you have this almost the exact same size crystal on the back as you do the front. It's just slightly bit smaller, but that 20 jewel automatic is stunning, and you will not regret this purchase. This is a $19,000 watch, and it almost was my uh, my hot pick. But I mean, this is, it was a tough call between the Hublot and the Maurice Lacroix, and there is no slide on this watch. Wait till you see it. Just looking at the back of the watch is going to completely sell you. We're not gonna need to say a thing. I thought it was I thought it was cool that our director, who has seen pretty much every single watch in our building, said this is one of the most beautiful watches that he's ever seen. And we only have two remaining. What? By the way. Just two.
That's it. If you can swing it, I mean, we've marked it down. Like you've heard us say this before, go into the bank, tell them you want a $5,000 loan, you don't want to sign anything, and uh, you don't want to pay any interest, and you'll get it back to them in five months. <laughs> They'll bounce you out yeah, of the I bank. Yeah, do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> 121809. Quick mention here, I'll present my hot pick next hour when it's back where it belongs, when everything goes to six payments. But if you're looking and you're liking like I am, 40 millimeter Brinkley here, I love this. First of all, I love a two-tone. I think you get even more versatility when you mix metals and mix colors. So rose tone and silver tone. And then that gorgeous sun ray dial in that beautiful saturated navy blue, but also almost a sapphire blue. It's blinged out with crystals in the bezel. You've got crystals set to look like diamonds for your hour markers and a fully functioning Japanese chronograph movement Look at the luxury here. Do you notice how it's a big date complication at the 12 o'clock, something that we normally see on high-end watches? That's one of the only Michael Kors watches to use that. This looks a little bit like some of the other styles from Maurice Lacroix and some of the other mm -hmm. high-end manufacturers. You know, just over the time since I've been here, the last 10 months, uh, it's amazing how much the Michael Kors styles have stepped up in their quality and design. Because they did feel yes, like just, that's true. They did feel like a piece of jewelry that told time. Mm -hmm. And now you have a quality time piece that is absolutely exceptional in its design and quality. Two eight three zero five six. We'll air that again next hour. Oh look, the crew got lunch for everybody but us. <laughs> Oh, yes, we can hear you eating in there as we are trapped into the studio. I'm let me get the you blow out of my mouth <laughs> because I'm licking the watch. And that's because I'm hungry. It's just, well, it's what I do. Well, why don't you present your gorgeous top pick? It really is just a beautiful timepiece. And it's one of those that there's a lot of high end pieces that I, you know, I feel like maybe they're aspirational pieces. Mm -hmm. I want it, but I know the cost is prohibitive. It's just too expensive. Well, here is one of those watches. That again, I can't tell you that as a collector how many times I've walked into jewelry stores or specialty stores and okay, it's just out of reach. But then once you start here, I mean, every collector should know about World of Watches. If you know somebody that loves watches, please understand that we're going to guarantee nobody is going to be able to beat our price. And if they do, we'll meet or beat their price. It's, if we have to duke it out, we're going to win. Well, you're going to win because you're going to get the lowest price possible. Here is an aspirational piece, $7,300. When we mark it down to the wow price by taking, you know, almost two grand off of it, here it is at $5,840, well, that's phenomenal. But then for the show, we're allowed to drop it down to $44.99. That's only $900 per payment to get you know, a watch, 42 millimeter case with the Ublo 1400 movement in it. That's the exact same movement that's in the Big Bang King Black Magic. Same 23 jewels. You're going to have the same 42 hour power reserve all within this beautiful watch. Let me flip it over because you need to see the superstar, which is the back of the watch. That to me looks incredible. And as you take a peek in there, you realize that sapphire crystal, both front and back, custom rotor. The cutaway in this beautiful Ublo watch, Ublo, Ublo literally translated means porthole, which is the style of the front of the watch. Three meters of water resistance. The guilloche dial, which is incredible, is all hand done. Now, you'll notice that when we start the chronograph, there's your start. And if I needed to go to stop and to hit reset, it will automatically snap back to allow you to instantly continue on instead of making that full rotation. It's a flyback, and you're going to really appreciate the ability to see it snap back and to reset if you needed to time a secondary item. The watch is running at 28,800 vibrations per hour. The accuracy of this timepiece is phenomenal. Folks, I'm going to just, I'm going to set this watch on and I want you to really see how well this 42 millimeter case fits on the wrist. I think it's beautiful. I really, really do. All right. Take a peek. I think it's just the right fit. 
The 316L stainless steel is going to be hardy. It's going to be one of those that if you do happen to scratch it, it's going to polish right back up. And with that sapphire crystal front and back, the watch is going to look stunning for years to come. This is truly a gentleman's watch, but it's a 21st century gentleman. You'll notice that some of the styles may be reminiscent of vintage or of older configurations. And I love that in watches. My son wants a Ritmo Mundo. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to have to try to hunt that one down today. <laughs> but because Christmas is around the corner. That's right. And I know that he loves the vintage style. Well, I like that too, but I'm also very partial to the gentleman's watch that looks like the 21st century gentleman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you could uh, think about Rolexes. Mm -hmm. If you show me a vintage Rolex, I appreciate the style and everything about it, but I can tell you if it's an older one or a newer one. That's true. And here, this is a watch that's obviously a classic chronograph, but this is a 21st century watch. This is what the gentleman today wears. So there's something very modern, very contemporary, but no one for a moment will mistake it for an old watch. And I love that. Folks, you can get the watch for only $900. I say only because you're getting a $7,000 watch for only $900. 291529 will get you the beautiful Hublot Super B. All right, so. Most of you are familiar with Swiss-made watches when you've heard of brands like Rolex, like mm -hmm. Hublot and Breitling and Luminox, and we've got all of those. But if you've been watching the show for about a month now, you notice that we recently debuted the Des Blue. Des she Bleu. speaks another language. We, we recently debuted the Blue Genève collection, which is the newest collection of Swiss-made watches from Swiss Legend. And everybody out there is saying, well, that's great. Swiss Legend is now making Swiss-made watches. What does that mean? Our crew got a hold of some footage. Our company actually went out to Switzerland and shot this. Mm -hmm. And our crew put together a fantastic piece. This is behind the scenes at the factories in Switzerland where the next couple of watches we're going to show you from Swiss Legend were actually created, designed, and manufactured. Let's take a look at a very, very cool little video that's kind of a behind the scenes of Swiss made Swiss Legend. So kudos to our incredible production team for putting that together. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Just takes you back, right? Have you ever been to Switzerland? I've been to Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Switzerland. I've been to Switzerland. It's actually, it's beautiful. There's something Have about you? being in Switzerland where the air smells better. I mean, my, I went traveling a, a number of years ago and I went to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And it's funny when you're actually there, it's so beautiful. And you see these incredible watch shops where, I mean, you can actually see these, these men and women that are just sitting there like fooling on these watches. And it's, it's like being in, in a Disney movie almost. It's I, incredible there. See, I would just picture it would smell like cheese. It does. And, and chocolate. Hot chocolate. Uh -huh. and, and the water's like just Evian coming out the tap. <laughs> Later hosen and everyone has a watch that's Swiss made. I don't know. I want to go. So that is a perfect little entrance to present to you the 48 millimeter. I think we might even have a 46. We've got two 48 Ooh. millimeters of the Blue Genève collection from Swiss Legend. Oh, today we're going to do the 48 mm. millimeters. These are oh. the Swiss made Swiss Legends. And how color. nice one of them is your favorite of the two. Well, I like both of these now because look how great that looks so sure. many people. I mean, I love the white. I think this is a classic look. That is a watch that I'm like, that's it. 
but I cannot tell you how many people have seen this either online or have ordered it and they have to send that message of, oh my goodness. Yeah, the blue dial is actually my This favorite. pops. I mean, it's like Paul Newman's eyes blue. I mean, ladies see this and they go, oh, Ooh, I like your watch. <laughs> Now, do you have a favorite? I'll, t I'll take the silver one first because I do like the classic look. The blue, I, I, the blue I'm crazy okay. about, but the silver one, I think, offers a lot more versatility. So the Blue Genève collection, as you just saw, designed, manufactured, assembled in Switzerland. At least 60% of the value of the components are Swiss made. It passed final inspection and certification as approved by the Swiss Federation. So it's more than just seeing a watch and seeing the words Swiss made down there. There's a lot more that goes into it, which is why Swiss made watches are always so expensive. And yet our parent company here has been able to do something that even those of us on staff never thought we'd be able to do. And that is offer Swiss made watches at quartz prices. Here, you're looking at a 48 millimeter with the ISA 8361 movement. The ISA 8361 movement took ISA, of course, ISA, the watch manufacturer, took ISA five years of development to make this movement. Swiss Legend with the Blue Genève is one of the first companies to now carry the all new 8361 from ISA. That is a very, very special, very, very cool feat, and one that we are so proud of, because you've got this brand new movement in a Swiss-made watch, and you're paying $39 to get it home, or the full $195. Honestly, this watch belonged in last hour, the under 200 hour. Two-piece dial here, actually multiple levels here, but what I'm talking about is the center chapter has a little bit of texture, and then the outer smooth edge where all of the applied hour markers are. A black ceramic bezel insert. Look down at the watch you have on your wrist right now. Chances are the bezel is one of the most scratched areas. It takes a lot of the brunt of wear and tear. Here, your bezel is a ceramic insert. Notice the beveled edges to that bezel. See how they're all almost beveled off at all the edges and then even the case follows that same shape? That's called a dodecagon. You've got a geometric, I'm thinking almost nautical inspired design, which is perfect as Blue Genève, Blue for water and Genève for Geneva in Switzerland, has almost that nautical design. Now, as we were talking last hour, and I was almost <clears throat> describing the Michael Kors watches as being sport luxury, We've been speaking to, and if you've caught the shows the past couple of weeks, you know that our creative director for our company-owned brands, mm -hmm. Niso Brokas, he was talking about the fact that Swiss legend, the new DNA, that's what he calls, you know, like the brand core, the new DNA for Swiss legend, is the DNA, <laughs> <laughs> is going to be all about sport luxury. They're going to be the kind of watches that you could wear with a dress shirt, you could wear to the office, a job interview, a date on Friday night, or you could very easily wear it on the weekends with a pair of shorts. On a boat. On a boat, you say? That's right, on a boat. It's a luxury watch. It's I would not want to get this watch. in the water. You can absolutely get it in the water. 200 meters of water resistance. What? It's a professional grade diver. So we see things like that on Quorum. On Breitling, and we think, okay, great. Well, it's a Swiss-made watch. I can dress it up, or I can wear it scuba diving. That's what we can now do with the Blue Genève collection. And the great thing about it is while we're showing you the biggest size, the one that perhaps has the most going on with that new ISA 8361 movement, on our website, worldofwatches.com, there are three other sizes, 38 millimeter, 42 millimeter, and 46 millimeter. And they're all slightly different. Speaking of different, of course, I know you've got your eye on this one, which is mm -hmm. so cool. Because I've been saying for a long time, the past couple of weeks, I like gentlemen to consider blue. Even if you only wear silver tone watches and black watches, think about getting one with some blue in it. And the reason being, most gentlemen's dress shirts or ties have blue. So how cool to be able to pull that out on your wrist. And you know, Megan, one of the things that when we talk about Swiss made, we have to account for 
the labor, because I, as you said, not only is it a Swiss movement, but the watch has to have the movement placed inside this case and a final inspection in Switzerland. Do you know what the average minimum wage in Switzerland is? Minimum wage. No. I'm $25 right. an hour. Really? The average salary. I think the whole crew just left. Yeah, they just left. <laughs> <laughs> little tiny feet running for the Swiss end. We actually came back after shooting that video. Or did they? But do you know what the average salary is? No, I mean, I'm just, not good at math just with that. $125,000 a year. Wow. So when you're talking. Well, let's think of perspective for a moment. It's very expensive in Switzerland. Well, yes. But they, but labor is not cheap but over there. But that's my point. Yeah. Is that these watches are made at one of the most expensive places on the planet that's to so do the cool. labor. I mean, these are not shipped off to some third world country. Because there are there are ways of doing that. There, it's when you have uh, simply the case and the movement, and they're shipped somewhere else for assembly. But this is all done in Switzerland. When we're talking about expensive Swiss labor and skilled labor, they're not getting the $25 an hour. They're getting much more than that to make these watches. They're the cabineteers. They're the watchmakers. When you were talking about the tiny little Swiss hands, you saw those experts all the way down to having you know gloves on to make sure that they don't leave their fingerprints on the movements. I mean, it is such detail to make sure that the watches, when they're sealed, are as pristine as the, the day that they made. I mean, think about this, Megan. If you open up this watch, it has Swiss air on the inside. <laughs> well, it does. It's airtight. It's 200 meters of water resistance. If you were to open up the watch and just take a sniff, you'd just get a little piece of Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little piece of cheese in there. <laughs> well, that, that does explain many things. Folks, the 48 millimeter Blue Genève is truly a beautiful timepiece. Look at how that just, notice the, um, the pinstriping on my uh, sleeve is almost the exact color of this watch. Coincidence? I think not. It, mm -hmm. is, it is used a lot in gentlemen's attire. And what you were saying uh, lightheartedly was just how much this color is used in, in male fashion. And I think it's going to go with far more than people realize. Folks, do not let these watches get away from you because they're going to go back up in price. The $400 price point is actually quite fair for an all Swiss made luxury watch. You're getting it for $194.99. You have two beautiful selections. Consult our website. There may be other colors, styles, and sizes in the Blue Genève we want you to take a peek at. But for the show, here it is 287826, the Swiss Legend 48 millimeter Blue Genève. All right. Oh, nice. Two one six four seven nine. Two variations here. The first one, I know it's kind of silly to say it's a simplified version because it's a seventeen hundred dollar watch, but your price is five hundred dollars. And at thirty five millimeters, we're in that true classic size. An easy, elegant, absolutely beautiful design that I almost see as being that totally fluid, symmetrical design. And that's because if you notice. Every single element of this watch, from the multi-link bracelet to that gorgeous, smooth case and bezel, almost flows together like one solid piece. 35 millimeters, we are in that true classic size. This is that size that is sophisticated, that is perfect for daily wear. You know, it's interesting. As much as I love oversized timepieces, there's something to be said about having something a little bit more understated for when you're getting dressed up or those occasions where maybe it's best to err on the side of a little bit more conservative style. And that's what you get here. But it's not boring. This isn't a watch that you look at and you think, well, it's stuffy. Oh, this is something, you know, my grandmother would wear. No, it might be. But it's also something that... And your today, grandma's got really yeah, good taste. So she's, she's rocking it with a $1,700 watch. This is also something that the modern woman would wear and enjoy. Notice inside the dial. See that beautiful series of concentric circles, how it almost goes like the jasmine flower? That's where the name oh. comes from. Yeah, you see that? Mm -hmm. That's right. That there is called the guilloché dial. That texture <coughs> is done by hand. That is not a machine over and over again pressing that out. That is Swiss hands, so to speak, engraving all of that decoration. It is an artist, because I'm sorry, uh -huh. I could hand decorate that, but it's going to look it's like a train wreck. It's not going to look like this. I mean, that is as much artistry as it is 
uh, watch craftsmanship. Absolutely, and that's why it's called a guilloché dial. I'm just going on the wrist here very quickly. I've got it back on my six inch wrist, and you can see here how slimline the design is. This is what makes it, I think, a great option for ladies if you're looking for that watch to wear to the office every day. Something to wear with your blouses, your blazers, a chunky sweater now that it's fall and winter. Look at how slim it is. It's nearly the same thickness all the way around. And that's with a Swiss made movement inside. It's a two hand Swiss made movement modified by Raymond Weil as they do with all of their movements. I want the light to hit it so you can see that little blue. Those are true furnace blued hands. That's not blue ionic plating, that is furnace bluing. The bracelet is a superstar here. Much like a jasmine flower and the design done inside the dial, it is a delicate, fluid, symmetrical bracelet. I love the way the closure is perfectly integrated. And notice how generous the bracelet length is. This is your everyday watch, ladies. But that everyday watch is $500, and yet it's not worth $500. It's worth more than three times that. Raymond Weil is an expensive Swiss made brand. Honestly, this is a great follow up to having Swiss Legend because we're showing you right now what Swiss made watches really retail for $1,700. Now we have incredible pricing with Raymond Weil, so we're able to get this for $500 and give it to you for $500, I should say. So think about that. Your $1,700 watch is only going to set you back $500. <laughs> If you can afford $100 a month, let's say every month you treat yourself to a dinner out or a nice pair of shoes or a handbag. For $100 a month, how nice is it really? I'm sure it's moderate quality. You know, I've, I've got a handbag that's about 100 bucks. It's nice, nice leather, but nothing over the top. Think about that $1,700 handbag, that $1,700 pair of shoes. Now we're talking about a completely different realm, right? That's the same with these watches. You are paying that almost discounted price with a department store item. 216479, that's the item number if you want rose tone. This is the way to go, of course. Now, I know, I know, the price goes up. Here's what's so great. The price goes up for you $80 more a month. So $400 more total. If you do the stress-free payments, you're only going to feel $80 more a month. Look at what the price goes up in the real world. You're going from $1,700 to $3,600. So we increase the price $400, where Raymond Weil increased the price $2,000. That is the beauty of buying on World of Watches TV and with the stress-free payments. Now coming in closer, I love the silver tone because I believe a silver tone watch is a wardrobe staple that every woman needs to own. Like the little black dress, like that great pair of high heels and that one great structured handbag, the silver tone watch is your fallback. It is your watch every day. It is your watch for a black tie function, for a job interview, for date night, running errands with your girlfriends. It is the same watch you wear for everything. So why wouldn't you want it to be a Swiss made diamond watch? And that's because the answer is, it's a $3,600 watch. It's expensive. It's not if you factor in what we're able to do for you today. Genuine diamonds all set around that beautiful bezel framing that silver tone dial. Swiss made watch again, so slim line and elegant, easy to wear. I love this variation. You have to decide what's right for you. If you can swing $80 more a month, now you're getting bling. 277 744. If I was able to have a second runner up as a hot pick, or I guess a first runner up, I wasn't very good at all of that, <laughs> it would be this timepiece right here. I absolutely love it. I own a Raymond Weil. I bought it using the stress-free payments and the show. I wear it all the time. It is, and, and this is a great example of 
your entry point into a diamond Swiss made watch and you'll never ever have to pay even close to that list price. In fact, your price is 25%. So you're walking by the Raymond Weil store and the sign says 75% off. 277744, five payments of $180. Well, I can't believe it. This hour, the second hour is going by so fast. We're already at the halfway point, and this is where we get to do the top 10. Now, we love the top 10, but mm -hmm. also it should be great for you to enjoy the top 10 because it's a great way to see where the show is going, what everybody's shopping mm -hmm. for today, what you're shopping for, where your picks rank among everyone else. It's just, that's subliminal messaging. That was, buy that watch, buy the Raymond Wilde. Our the director is so sneaky. That, I forget where I was going, the top 10, is a great way for you to see where your picks rank among mm -hmm. everyone else's. And it's a cool indicator of where the show is going. Are there gonna be a lot of under $200 items? Are there a lot of Swiss made watches? Will it be items that we haven't even seen yet that's, in our third hour? That's the, that's the fun part, is people are shopping in the future. Because we have more watches on sale than we can possibly present to you. People who are in the know will go to the website, find all those super deals, and it may be something that's coming up within the next hour or on tomorrow's show. Well, you can see some of those and get a sneak peek and go, really, that's in the top 10? I didn't even see that yet. Well, we haven't either, but you can still get it while there's still quantity. All right, the number 10 item in our top 10 is? What is it? Oh, we have done very well with this watch. I mean, Well, and with good reason. It's beautiful. And to get an all Swiss made watch at this price point is crazy. But you're getting, like, like we've already mentioned, this is a brand new movement. And to suddenly see that movement in this watch and us being one of the first watch companies to be able to present it to the world, we love it. And it's under $195. Only $39 gets the watch home. It's why it's in the top 10. It's all Swiss made and it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. But how about something you haven't even seen yet on the show that's number nine? Two seven eight five seven nine. You actually, when we were going through the lineup, you were surprised to see a Braun in the lineup. You know, we don't always get them. Mm -hmm. And I think folks have to realize that, of course, we do give a lot of priority to our own brands because we have, have a lot of them, we mm -hmm. make them. But we have, just like you said, to go to the website, you may find Rolex, you may find Cartier, yep. you may find Tiffany, you may find any number of watches. Here is a watch that we don't always get to show on the show, but here it is, right here in the top 10. So we're delighted to be selling out on Braun. The 40 uh, millimeter classic chronograph with that beautiful stylized brown genuine leather strap. It is such a simple, almost Bauhaus configuration, a very German look to this watch. And you're going to love it at $360, even more so at $299. Or the show price, well, it's why it's number nine, $174.99. Coming in at number eight, I've made this watch my hot pick many times on the show. Oh, this is actually the bigger size. I thought this was a 38. Gentlemen, this one is for you, the 45 millimeter Modern Mariner. This is a 200 meter Swiss made watch, 200 meter diver, I should say, professional grade diver. Here, you'll get the stamp on the back emblazoned with the US Navy seals. You've got a matte black textured dial with all of those little white dashes on the hands and the hour markers. That is filled with tritium. Tritium is your loom for your Luminox timepiece. You've got a special treated genuine leather strap that allows for swimming and diving, anti-reflective coating over a sapphire crystal, Swiss made watch, and it's $340. That is, honest to God, crazy. You are more than half off the list price, 206086. That is number eight. Building watches since 1875, it's Bulova, and this time it's Accutron by Bulova. This is the technological and the luxury end. You certainly have the fashion end with Caravelle. You certainly have the everyday, every man's watch with Bulova. But here, Accutron, it's the best they have to offer. And one of the things I love about this watch, you'll notice at the 9 o'clock position, is an adjustment that you can make on the watch to ensure the level of accuracy within it something that you normally only see for a jeweler to do. In fact, we're going to show you a masterpiece, Maurice Lacroix, that if you look, and I happen to have a jeweler's loop here, you can see, I'll show it to you, Megan, the adjustment that only a jeweler can do within mm -hmm. it to adjust the watch. Here, you can do this at home, so you can have all the accuracy by simply making an adjustment with a special key. A beautiful watch, and some of you already know that. That's why it's in the top ten. Coming in at number six, this is a watch one of the guys on our crew was wearing today, the 48 millimeter Night Rally. 281694. 
$90, great for our first hour where everything was under 200 bucks. And on four payments, $22.50 gets it home. Japanese chronograph quartz movement inside. Here you've got a gunmetal textured dial, pops of orange and red, white hour markers and hands on there. And all of your stainless steel done in a brush finishing of gunmetal as well. 281694, you get a five year warranty on the movement and 100 meters of water resistance. My son, when he went through all the red line watches, said these are your everyday watch. Mm -hmm. Because you can do different watches and have a different one about every day with our yeah. different selections. But they're not real expensive. And if something happened, you would not just go, oh, I cannot believe I've lost mm -hmm. the collection. Speaking of great watches for every day, how about Lucien Picard? And this new style has such a weight to it and such a presence, not just physical weight, but I mean, it has a gravitas. It has this kind of presence to it that's not in your face. But when you see the watch and you feel it, you go, that's a nice watch. The 45 millimeter watch has this black, genuine leather strap, beautiful black dial, and it just has a different look to it. Maybe it's the second indices at the hour markers. Maybe it's that uh, exposed date window. Or maybe it's just that little pop of color that tells you it has a little bit of a sporty aspiration, even though it's a luxury watch. Luxury under $90. Yes, you could pay four or $500 for the watch, but why? When you can get it for us for only $89.99. Is that supposed to read the wow price of $192? I think it is. I think it's supposed to be, <laughs> if not, we've given a very, very little discount there. $22.50, that's your first of four stress-free interest-free payments. Regardless, you know value and you're getting a great watch home. What's great though is even if the price isn't dramatically different from the website, you always get stress-free payments, which is something you don't get every day. 287681, coming in at number four, the 46 millimeter Voyager. This is one of the watches we opened the show with. Here, silver tone, both brushed and polished on the case. Even on the side of your vintage-inspired design, the case is stamped with Ben and Sons. You've got almost a light, I'm calling it a manila color for the hour markers, super luminova for the hands. Soft touch brown, genuine leather strap with a black dial. I like the color combination. Black dial, brown leather. 287681, Japanese movement inside. It's a three hand movement. You get a five year warranty on that. Four payments of $16.25. That comes in at number four. Now, you've mentioned that before that you like that combination. I do. When they do the black and brown together. Well, here's a watch that really stands out all the way around. Now, if you want to spend a whole lot more money and get the Big Bang King Black Magic, go right ahead. But here is such a very similar watch, but just two millimeters difference in size. This is the 42 millimeter Super B. It also has the HUB 1400 automatic movement, which is a 23 joule automatic. This watch has 42 hours of power reserve. It is normally priced at over $7,000. But for only $900, you're able to get this pinnacle piece of 21st century modern male luxury home. But ladies, do not hesitate because of the size of the watch. I mean, you know, Megan can easily put this watch on, and it's going to be a wonderful fit. There is no lady that would throw that watch off oh, of their no. wrist. Absolutely. And you're going oh, yeah, to find wow. that natural rubber strap is incredibly comfortable. The, the guilloche dial is all hand done and hand decorated. You not only have the flyback chronograph, but you also have a date complication and you have an incredibly accurate timepiece with that 28,800 vibrations per hour. Beautiful and we are delighted that you were able to get that home. Coming in number two, so glad you ladies are picking up the 35 millimeter Jasmine. It is an elegant timepiece you'll wear every single day. 216479, $1,700 is the list price. Go into any jeweler, any Raymond Weil store, even the high end department stores where they carry Raymond Weil, and that's what you'll expect to pay. But $500 for a Swiss made watch? I say break it out with the payments, $100 a month, ladies. You know a deal when you see one, and this is it right here. If you love 18 karat rose like I do, then this rose tone watch is a perfect compliment. Even the case back is done in rose tone, so it feels like you're wearing a solid gold watch. It is slim line. You've got that beautiful jasmine flower hand etched in the center portion of the dial. 216479, that's number two. And number one, this is so exciting and such a surprise for me. I am so delighted that ladies are picking up this timepiece. Gentlemen out there, if you were picking this up for your daughter, your wife, your sister, you made an excellent decision. And ladies, I know 
I don't have to speak to you because you know a great deal. We all know Michael Kors and they can be so expensive. $400 is the list price for a Michael Kors watch. And that's a lot of money, especially when you're thinking about the fact that our number two pick, if you pay 500, you get a $1,700 watch. What's amazing though is our discount. And this is a watch that sells right now in department stores and online for 400, but we're gonna save you $160 right off the bat and it's brand new in fact we should mention that every single watch whether it's a Hublot, a michael kors or a swiss legend every single watch is a hundred percent brand new guaranteed authentic sometimes we air collectors watches sometimes we have estate pieces but we'll always let you know if it's a store display model or a second hand model this is a brand new in the box never before worn item coming your way. Now this actually lives in our third hour where everything is on six payments. So I love that everybody is already online at worldofwatches.tv and shopping what's available. You don't have to wait if you don't want to. Watch when the light hits that dial just right. You can see you've got that rich navy blue or I'm really calling it a sapphire or Mediterranean blue dial. You've got a sport luxury look with a fully functioning chronograph movement. It's a Japanese movement. And then notice the big date complication at the 12 o'clock position. That is two individual date wheels. Let me move that. As you can see, look at that. Two individual date wheels. That is a feature typically reserved for high-end luxury timepieces. And I know what you're thinking. $400 doesn't mean it's cheap. Absolutely not. But Michael Kors went the extra edge with that feature. You've got crystal set to look like diamonds for your hour markers, so you get that gorgeous bling. And then when you move out to the bezel, all encrusted with crystals. There is such a femininity to this watch, but it's an oversized boyfriend style. It's that oversized, almost men's inspired luxury timepiece made for a woman's wrist. It's a slim line design, so it's not big, it's not bulky. At 40 millimeters, I like that it's got a full presentation to it, but it still feels like you could wear it every single day. All mirror polished with rose tone and silver tone. The rose tone adds a beautiful warmth to that silver tone. And I think with the blue, it's that luxury look. We've got a Breitling chronomat slated for this hour, our Swiss made hour. Yes. That is a two tone of solid gold and silver tone. And that's a solid gold watch. I'm not comparing the two. And we've also had the chronomat with the rose gold and silver tone. And sometimes they use that rich blue dial. Mm -hmm. You've got that elegant luxury color combination here. Rolex, another brand that does it as well. That gorgeous blue and that two-tone here, all done in plated stainless steel. It's affordable luxury. $40 gets it home. Why pay 400 bucks when you could put $40 down and we ship it for free. 283056, congratulations ladies who picked this up. Congratulations gentlemen for listening to me. You made a very, very, very wise decision. This is the kind of watch that I think is age appropriate for everyone. I would wear it, my little sister would wear it. I would give it to my own mother. It's age appropriate for a woman of any age because as you know, mm -hmm. when you first started here and you were talking to people, we always joke about the fact that People always ask, what kind of watch brands do you sell? And ladies, the first question is Michael Kors. You have Michael Kors? Mm -hmm. Because they know they're expensive in the retail stores and nobody touches our price on Michael Kors watches. Brand new in the box and you're proving it right now because you're getting them home. You know you're shopping with confidence because you're getting free shipping, 30-day money-back guarantee, and uh, you're going to be delighted with what comes in the mail in just a few days. Congratulations to the number one seller. All right, now back to our Swiss made hour. Last week on the show, if you caught the shows, we had the Kirkwood Accutron by Bulova. That is Bulova's Swiss made arm of their brand, so to speak. And these Kirkwoods did very, very well. So we thought we'd bring them back out for another week. They are absolutely beautiful watches. There is no two ways about it. And here, I want you to see this beautiful 26-jewel automatic. Wow. 
That's a lot. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with what the jewels do inside of a watch, when you have all that movement, there's going to be friction. Well, you can't fill up the watch with oil. Now, yes, there are actually a few manufacturers with sealed back watches that do use a little bit of uh, lubrication in there. But to reduce friction, most watchmakers have found that placing either sapphire or rubies within the pressure points those jewels reduce the friction and the pressure within the watch, which gives you a more accurate timepiece. This watch has 26 jewels inside of it to reduce friction and to allow the watch to function more smoothly. Now, you'll notice at the 12 o'clock position, the one thing that stands out about this watch is that beautiful open heart right there. And what do you see? The Accutron logo or emblem pressed up right there. Now, it does not interfere with you being able to see the mainspring and the balance wheel, but it certainly does make a striking testament to which company has made this watch, Bulova. Since 1875, building beautiful watches, you'll notice right there at the six o'clock position, there is the moniker of Swiss made. Now, the watch stands out because you have certainly the Roman numerals at the three, six, and nine o'clock position, and there at the 12 o'clock, the Accutron logo. That sunburst style that seems to be coming straight from the, uh, the open heart configuration really looks incredible. Now, I want to flip the watch over. I want you to see that you have a partial exhibition window, all sapphire, that allows you to see within that watch. And even though it's a luxury watch, you'll notice it's a screw down back. There is 100 meters of water resistance. You happen to have all of that stainless steel. Notice that is, that is not a chrome finish on the watch. That is a, the high mirror polish of high grade stainless steel. It means that should something happen to the watch where it gets scratched or damaged over time, it's going to be easy to polish that back out. Now I want you to see the rotor. Megan, have you noticed that even the Accutron uh, logo has been etched into the cutaway? Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, I, think that's just, I did not notice that before. It's just a little detail that you wouldn't necessarily expect, but at a, almost $1,100, well, that's kind of a high-end watch, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, ponder this for a second, Megan, and maybe you can comment on this. Bulova is a great brand, mm -hmm. and our Swiss-made Swiss legend sells for a very similar price mm -hmm. to the Bulova Everyday Collection, right. you know, the things that aren't Swiss-made. Mm -hmm. Look at the price point when other companies have taken their watches to the Swiss level, $1,100, and they're even at their best prices, are still at 340 bucks. That's true. I mean, this, as I was saying before, when we were present, when I was presenting the Raymond Weil, it's, it's a great indication of how expensive Swiss-made watches are, because as we talked about, or as you were explaining, I didn't even know how expensive, of course, even though the we were labor. joking, Swiss labor is, but also the components, the, the final inspection they have to go through. All of that is a lot more strict and stringent, and that's why... Bulova only has Accutron by Bulova as a Swiss made arm. And then their greater brand is just Bulova, where they use Japanese and Chinese movements, which are high quality. But this is that step up. Megan, as, as folks are looking at this watch on my wrist, six and three quarter inch wrist, the beautiful 40 millimeter case, Megan, maybe you can comment on, let's say if somebody's watch has a Swiss movement, where might that movement be? Uh, be put into the watch. Does that mean it has to be put in in Switzerland? No, no, not at all. That's that's because to make it a Swiss made watch, one of the guidelines would be that it had to be packaged and assembled in Switzerland. Our own company, Swiss Legend, most of the, I'm wearing a Swiss Legend right now that has a Swiss made movement, but was not assembled in Switzerland, so to speak. The actual casing and all of that wasn't assembled in Switzerland. That happens all over. That can happen in Japan, Hong Kong, China. And so it's definitely something to say when you have every single thing birthed, designed, manufactured, all of that in one place. And I think that's incredible. This is a fantastic value to get this $1,100 watch for $340, in fact, just a penny less. And for only $68, you can get it home. You don't have to come up with the whole price. If you're considering this for yourself or a gift for someone, well, one, we've got shipping covered for you. 30-day money-back guarantee so you can shop with confidence and you don't have to put the full price out. I mean, you know, it's not layaway. If you put that first price down, we're going to ship it the very next business day and you're going to be able to get this ASAP and see if you like it. I think you will. All right, moving on. Stay in Swiss made. We're getting oh. fancy. Oh. Uh, you haven't worn yours in a while. 
you know, ever since I whammy the watch, I don't wear it to work. <laughs> But you know what? I love the fact that our, uh, because we are watchmakers and watch designers, I was able to hand, because this is a solid gold watch. Absolutely. The price is. point is not just, oh, is that Swiss made? This is probably Swiss gold. Yeah, that's why the $16,000 price, that's like the price of a car. You're wearing a car on your wrist. This is the ML158, which is a 31 joule automatic. Now, folks, please just listen carefully just for a moment. Everybody loves things that are a bit exclusive. If I told you this was a limited edition piece, well, that hopefully will get your attention. The price point of $16,000 is for several reasons. One, solid 18 karat pink or rose gold. That gives it intrinsic value because of the metal of the case and the watch is heavy. I want you to see that everything that you see that looks like gold is gold. The rotor is the only thing that is gold plated and that is because the metal that it's made out of is providing the appropriate balance. And you would not want a gold rotor spinning in there. You would actually feel it. Notice how thin that rotor is, and it's providing the power for that watch. The ML158 automatic movement is uh, pretty incredible. You'll notice, and this is the giveaway, limited edition. How many pieces? 500 for the world, 1,000 for the world. There are 88 of these watches, and that's it. 88 of the white, 88 of the black. Those dials, speaking of which, are guilloche dials. They are handmade, hand-lacquered dials. Every number, everything that you see is hand-applied to that. When you only have 88, every single one of them has to be perfect. Now, if you'll notice, you'll go online. There are stainless steel versions of these watches. There can be unlimited quantities of those. For the solid gold with the black crocodile strap, there are only 88. This is number 74 of 88, which means there are only 87 more on the planet with a good portion of those already spoken for. If you find one of these somewhere, well, you better react because that's, they're not going to last long. It has 38 hours of power reserve. It is a 31 joule automatic. You'll see that stamped right there on the rotor. And here is how that beautiful 40 millimeter case wears on the wrist. I have to tell you, as an owner of this watch, I am so impressed. Now, I have another version, which is part of the Masterpiece Collection called the Five Hand. And this is going to give you some personal testimony. Hand on a stack of Bibles. The watch has only been worn a handful of times because I have an, a lot of other watches. Mm -hmm. It stays in the watch winder. And I think just within the last week, it has caught up to lose one minute of time. That's after you know, months now. Okay, you have to understand, for an automatic movement, you expect to lose 10 to 15 seconds per day, which means, uh, theoretically, every four to six days, I've lost a minute. I've gone months. And it has been the most accurate timepiece I have ever owned as an automatic. Folks, it is $3,699.99. We're going to try to make it easy by reducing it to $740. That is going to be your first of five stress-free interest-free payments for this ultra-limited edition, very special masterpiece. And there's only one item in the entire show that I think is more beautiful, and you're about to see it. This next Maurice Lacroix, what a way to end our hour. This is truly a masterpiece. One, two, one, eight, zero, nine. This is a mechanical timepiece. So it's not even an automatic. This is a step further. This is a watch that is truly a work of art. This is just one of those rare timepieces that if you get a chance and you're looking for that luxury, then this is it. Now, I will give you a little bit of the walkthrough. Megan has just delighted. I mean, when she saw the movement, and we've only had this since I've been here one other time on the show, maybe twice, but it is the most beautiful mechanism that is keeping time. Now, let's come in even closer. I want you to take a look at the dial, and you're going to see, I mean, it looks very special, obviously. Notice you have the hour, the minute, and a continuously operating uh, I'm going to call it a sweep wheel as a small seconds at the 9 o'clock position. 
which is fairly phenomenal. Instead of using a traditional hand, notice they've used a wheel with the arrow marker on it. That is beautifully stylized. The only other time I've seen something similar to that, even close, not the same thing, was on the Omega. Mm -hmm. Now, you do have a fully functioning chronograph and simply hitting that pusher is going to start it and there is your seconds. You have a minute totaler at the three o'clock and you notice that our other sweep hand is constantly in motion too. There's your reset. Now, as I shift over to show the back, you get ready to grab your teeth off of the floor. Before you do though, the reason why that's so special is because this is a solid 925 silver dial. Wow. Yeah. Anthracite and 925 solid silver for the dial. It is absolutely... It's that, not even silver tone. It's silver. And there is a weight to this yeah. watch. I mean, this is not a lightweight watch. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? We are delighted to show you this. This is a work of art right here. Here's why you're going to get the watch. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. It's incredible. All of that rhodium plating, Maurice Lacroix calls that black gold. What you are looking at is an in-house movement, is the Maurice Lacroix Caliber 106. Maurice Lacroix now manufactures a number of their own movements, and the Maurice Lacroix 106 movement actually took what is known as the rarest of mechanical watchmaking achievements. So mechanical watches, in the 1800s, they were able to improve upon it by giving it that 60-minute counter. That's what Wiley was talking about on the backs on the front side of the dial where you can see the 60 minute totalizer. The ML106 actually added two patents to that movement. One, a new release lever and a totally redesigned cinematic chain wheel all in there. That allows for more accuracy, more precision, and literally the top tier of mechanical watchmaking. And much like we were talking that one time about Omega and the coaxial escapement, how they took the automatic movement and improved upon the escapement and that hadn't been done, Maurice Lacroix's 106 movement and those two patents was the first time anything like that was improved since the 1800s. You've got a 20 joule mechanical movement inside. Your power reserve is up to 40 hours. And you'll notice all of the finishing Ooh. on the back of that movement it's beautiful. All of that done with black gold, that rhodium plating, PVD, and gold tone. And look, you can even see the ruby jewels. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. And look at how large of a piece of sapphire crystal for the back. You don't usually see that in an mm -hmm. exhibition back, but they wanted to make sure every nook and cranny of this watch you could see. Now, I'm not sure if we can get close enough on this, but you know, we showed you that I believe it was the Bulova by Accutron, Accutron by Bulova mm -hmm. that had the adjustment. This one inside, if I can find it, because we are, it may be upside down from where I saw it before. It's right there. Right in here is where the adjustment is. See that little caliber where the plus and the minus is right here? Right there. That's where a jeweler would have to open this and then adjust for the timing of the watch. That is just one of the things that not every watch has that, this one does. Now Megan, what were you saying about how unique this dial is? Well, it's anthracite solid 925 silver. I mean, that is, we're, most of the time, obviously, 99% of the watches. Mm -hmm. Silver tone, silver tone. This is a solid silver dial. That is so incredible. That is why this is a $19,000 watch. This is hand-built, hand-designed, every single component of it. You have one of the most complex and complicated movements in the world because of those two patents on the mechanical movement. I think there is such a presence to this watch. The genuine alligator strap is just the right luxury. It's one of the watches that you will not see very often in your lifetime. Maurice Lacroix truly has created a masterpiece. It is very, very unusual to see this watch, particularly with us, because they are rare to get. There's only a handful of these. If you want to wait, you can find it out in the wild for $19,000. The wow price of 10 grand is saving somebody nearly $9,000. Phenomenally, for what we can do on the show, $4,999.99, only $1,000 down against that $19,000 price and five payments.
You're gonna, we're going to send it to you after the first, so the $1,000 gets it home. We're going to pay for shipping, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, and we're going to guarantee nobody on the planet will sell it for less. Look at that watch. Doesn't that look great? How amazing that we're able to end the Swiss Made Hour with something like that. It was almost like every single watch just mm -hmm. got better and better. Well, our third and final hour of the show today, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to get even better as well because we're going to continue with maximum savings. In this hour, it's going to be all different styles of watches. They all have the same thing in common. Six stress-free payments. Now, you might be wondering why six. That's some arbitrary number. Swiss Watch International, our parent company here, we are obviously not a financial lending institution. So legally, a company like ours and other companies that sell goods or services and offer interest-free payments, the maximum you're legally allowed to do is six. So here in this hour, we mm -hmm. have maxed it out, just like our first hour, kind of getting you mm -hmm. ready for the holidays where everything in our first hour was under 200 bucks. Everything this hour is on six stress-free payments. That is interest-free. What that means is you make your first payment. You lock it in at that price. And payments are only available on the show. You lock it in at that price. We ship you the watches next business day. You will have these watches within a matter of days. It's not layaway. And then once a month, we will charge your credit card, because it's got to be on a credit card, that next price. So you've got five mm -hmm. more monthly payments after you make your first one today. All right, without further ado, let's jump into a little preview and see what's coming up in our third and final hour. There is that broad. I'm so glad that that's going to be on the show. It is a beautiful watch. And it really has that industrial feel to it, that Bauhaus, that German style and design. And it's a name people recognize. I mean, whether it is uh, different appliances or things that you could have at your house or whether it is uh, in the technical side or the jewelry side, well, here is a great watch by Braun. And you're going to appreciate the simplicity of the watch, how easy it is to read, the quality and the craftsmanship. $360 if you want to pay list, but only $299 if you get it at the wow price, but the show price $174. Wait till you see this on the wrist. It's just going to be one of those great everyday watches that you're going to go to over and over again. $29 gets it home, but take a look at what's right behind that. If you're wanting a watch that has a luxury feel, it has a great watch to wear every day, I, I bought this uh, as a gift for someone, and they absolutely have loved this watch. It's the 44 millimeter San Marco. Yes, that is a skeletonized lower uh, third of the watch. There at the six o'clock position is an open heart configuration, beautiful filigree bridge across that. You also have a secondary time zone at the nine o'clock, an exhibition window staring into the inner workings of the watch at the three o'clock, and then an AM, PM um, sun or moon indicator at the 12 o'clock position. All of this, not for the $300 wow price, but at the staggeringly low $154.99. And wait till you see that watch from the back. It looks incredible. $154.99. Please, folks, for only $25, you get it home. And look at what's right behind that. Talking about a beautiful Swiss legend. That's right. This next watch could have just been in our last hour as it is Swiss made. But we maxed it out with six stress-free payments in the 42 millimeter size. So as I, oh no, excuse me, the 38 millimeter. I sometimes get them a little confused. The 38 millimeter Blue Genève. This is the smallest size of the Swiss made Blue Genèves from Swiss Legend. And it features a Swiss made multi-function calendar. Your six o'clock subdial is a secondary time zone. I love that. 185 bucks. Even better though are the stress-free payments. Thirty dollars and change every month. Two eight seven eight three zero. And right behind that, oh, oh yeah, this is it. This is the watch, and I happen to like it a lot. The 42 millimeter Super B by Hublot. It is very, very similar to the Big Bang King Black Magic, which is a little larger at 44 millimeters. But you're going to find the same HUB 1400 automatic movement, which is a 23 joule automatic with 42 hours of power reserve. But this time you have 30 meters of water resistance, where something like the Big Bang King Black Magic happens to have 300 meters. So this is very much a dress watch that you are able to take out. You know, you take it to the pool, that's fine. You don't want to go diving with it. 
if you're not going, if, well, if you go down below 30 meters, which I'm not going past that, I assure you. <laughs> if I have, you call somebody. <laughs> the guilloche dial is a handmade dial, hand decorated. You happen to have a flyback chronograph, which means when you hit the reset, it snaps back and is ready to instantly go back to time a secondary item. It is a great uh, feature on the watch that usually you see on very high-end pieces, and at $7,000, this qualifies. The stainless steel in this watch, uh, phenomenal in how it has polished up with the right look of satin finish on the bezel, and then the high mirror polish on the sides. Comfortable all the way around, of course, with that natural rubber strap. You're going to love this watch. $44.99 is our price. Why pay retail? And only $900 gets it home. Quick mention of my hot pick, which just so happens to be the number one seller, or at least it was a half hour ago. Yeah, imagine that. 283056. That's because the ladies know what's up. I should take credit for this. This is a brand new Michael Kors, a 40 millimeter Brinkley. You're saving 160 bucks off the price you would pay in stores. And it's got that great sport luxury look. That beautiful, rich, almost Mediterranean blue dial, the crystal set to look like diamonds, and a two-tone done perfectly in silver tone and rose tone. 40 bucks a month, easy, interest-free, but $40 down on any major credit card. My Hot Pick ships to you brand new in the box, 283056. Now, coming up behind that, we were tempting you with the brawn earlier in the all stainless steel. How about one with a, a little pop of, of color to it? Now, I like this. This is very understated. It is lightweight. It is slimline. It is classic. It is very, very, very German all the way around. And uh, more than one person uh, who has seen this has just commented, this is nice. This is just simplistic in its design and execution, incredibly easy to read. And isn't that what you want? I mean, don't you want a watch that is just easy to, to tell the time at a glance? My favorite watches are the ones that I don't have to work at. And I think this is a beautiful case. I mean, you've got 44 millimeters in width, but notice how slim line the watch is. And it kind of just sits up. You notice the lugs are at the very bottom. And then you have this beautiful brown, genuine leather strap. It's just one of those watches that the moment I put this on, I know I'm not going to want to take it off. It's another one of those watches where I, I talk about how I think it's great for gentlemen with the black and brown color combo. It goes with everything. And I think, again, being able to find something that you really, really like that is going to be um, very reminiscent of that Bauhaus design. Yeah, Braun is German. So you know this is German design. Braun is, is headquarters in uh, Offenburg, Germany. And when you see their kind of stylistic design, this is, I mean, this is not a, uh, a watch that feels Far East. It does not feel um, like it has come from any other part of the world than Germany. It is, the Zimix that I have at home, which is my favorite watches, is a German watch. We'll see some of the Ingersoll designs mm -hmm. that you just go, that really stands out. It doesn't look like anything else. Why? It's the German design. Here they've done it with this as well. I like this. I want to try this on when you're done. Oh, I think this will look fantastic on your wrist. I think it's going to have a similar feel, but slightly German, uh, <laughs> of the uh, Ben and & Sons and uh, Bell & Ross and some of the others. Take oh, a yeah. peek. Did you say yeah? <laughs> have you been to Germany? Yes, I have. Of course you have, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that the simple start and stop. And then there's your reset. Notice this is not a flyback. It has to make that full spin all the way around. Let me slip the 40 millimeter watch on my wrist. I want you to take a peek because Megan wants to show the watch as well. And you're going to find, ladies, that this is equally as comfortable on your wrist. Now, there is there is kind of a soft texturing within oh, here. Wow. I'm showing this to Megan. And when we do the switchover, so she puts it on, uh, I want, no, I think. I think we may only have this particular color for you to see, but we do have other variations that are available. So I want you to take a peek at this very quickly on my wrist. I have a six and three quarter inch wrist, and this watch just wears so comfortably. I mean, this is going to feel like like one of the field style watches, but with absolutely, but in a German field. You know what's cool though is this is another one of those great giftable prices. You know, I think about as you talk about with your with your kids. Is your daughter into watches, or it's really Mason's as into it? As, Mason as very into much it so. She she loves jewelry mm -hmm. and so forth, but it's trying to find the right watch. Right. I'm gonna surprise her with just the right one. It's funny because you know my dad got me into watches, and 
he got me my first watch. Well, what I consider like my first real nice watch after I had some when I was a little bit younger, when I was about 16. And so it's nice because... You know, when you're at that age where, I mean, I was always seeing my dad wearing these nice watches. I wanted something as well. And so it was kind of, I still have it. And it's just cool to have that piece that you remember. But it can be very expensive. I mean, as we know when we see in retail, mm -hmm. purchasing watches are not cheap. Of course, at World of Watches, mm -hmm. we get a little jaded. We assume that everything, because everything is on sale for us here, even when they're brand new. So it can be so nice to be able to... Get a watch like this for your son or your daughter for the holidays or for a birthday or for just because. And it's just cool because you can get them something that, this is an almost $400 watch. It's not cheap. It's for nice. a 16-year-old, I would, you know, that's a really nice gift. But with the stress-free payments, with the fact that we have mm -hmm. it so discounted, it's nice because you can buy that quality, whether it's a brand like Braun or one of our own or something mm -hmm. else. And you're saving a lot of money, but you're getting them something quality to where they'll have it for a long time. It's not just, I don't want to spend a lot of money because my son or daughter might be clumsy with it, so I'll get them a $100 watch, and then a $100 watch breaks. Here, you're able oh, no. to There's quality. spend, yeah, you're able to spend so much less than what you actually make or what you actually get back. And so I like that. You know, as they draw in close on that watch so that folks can get a close-up of it on your wrist, I want to talk about the value that you're speaking of. You know, my daughter just did homecoming, mm -hmm. and I think the dress was like 80 or $90, and she's like, Dad, that's a bargain. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say that. It's like okay. really inexpensive. Okay. I don't want you ever to speak to her. You understand? <laughs> for, for a lot of reasons. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. <laughs> after the last comment about Mason in college, <laughs> he's had to talk to the dean. But I want you to... <laughs> but I also want you to consider... Uh, she said, Dad, I want to go to Disney with a couple of friends. Mm -hmm. It's $100 a day. Oh, yeah. They want to do two days. We were just talking about that with somebody, actually. But the so. point is, there are certain things that you can purchase that are intangibles. They disappear the moment mm -hmm. you've spent the money. Here is something that, for the same price point as some of these tangible, uh, intangibles that pass away, here is something that's going to last for years and years and years to come. And I hope people do realize that the watches we offer are durable goods that are going to be there for years and years and years to come. And when it's a brand like Braun or Breitling or one of our, one of our third-party brands, we always take over the manufacturer's warranty. So you never have to worry like, well, I didn't buy a Swiss Legend, so what does that mean? You always get the full length of the manufacturer's warranty. 278578. I gotta say, I really like that. What do you think about the softness? Because we didn't show this up close. It feels close. like it's already broken in. There's almost a suede like softness mm -hmm. or even almost a rubberization between Maybe you like and the if watch. If you're sweating, it's not gonna like oh. wear out the leather. But notice it's it's stippled enough that it would stay in place, it wouldn't it's rotate really on nice. you. nice. Here's another color variation. I'm partial to the first with the black and brown, but if you want something brighter, Silver tone in brown, 278579, 175 bucks, same price, six payments of 2917. Do you realize you are under a dollar a day? $29.17, 278579. I like the silver one because that looks more German to me. That's funny. I like the black well, and brown. Well, I think somehow it just kind of, uh, I don't want to say it's more common in the black, but it, it, I don't think about that being German as much as maybe that Bauhaus design you think porsche you think audi and you think of their classic cars in straight silver that's how i kind of see that watch speaking of watches that really get your attention how about the bulova precisionist this is what i consider the uh, doctor's version of the watch because some of the precision is particularly in the champlain it's a large watch at 46 millimeters this is not small but this version of the precisionist i think um any professional could wear this day in or day out and they're not going to feel like they're wearing a uh, certified chronometer that's large and overstated. This is the most accurate quartz movement on the planet. Now, you'll see us present this over and over again. And as maybe if you're just now tuning in and you're completely unfamiliar with what you're seeing, this is a quartz movement by Bulova. Quartz movements are a way to tell time. If you have an automatic or a mechanical watch, you're going to have a spring on the inside that's either wound by the motion of your body or by winding the crown. If you have a quartz movement, it simply means that you have a battery inside your watch that's causing a piece of quartz to vibrate. That's called a piezoelectric reaction because when electricity is applied to quartz, it vibrates. By using a system inside the watch to measure those vibrations, it's able to calculate time. It's the motion of something that gives you time, just like the motion of that a pendulum on your grandfather clock, well, that motion back and forth gives you a, mo a measure of time. 
what's going on inside this watch is a measurement of time by electricity passing through quartz. Now, they're going to come in even closer, and I want you to see how the watch works. It is a freehand configuration, the hour, the minute, and if I hit this button right here at the 8 o'clock position, I have a continuously operating sweep hand. It's going to catch up to exactly where it needs to be to be a sweep hand because this is accurate down to the second. Now, you can see that it is showing 10.09 and 0 seconds. But if I hit this button again, it's going to send that sweep hand all the way around to lock into place at the 12 o'clock position. Because let's say you want to use this as a stopwatch. You'll notice that there's not just one hand at the 12 o'clock position, but two. So when I start this, you're going to watch the timekeeper, which is the subdial at the 12 o'clock position, with two hands moving. Watch carefully. You'll notice that there is one hand moving very fast and there's one moving ridiculously fast because it's keeping track not just of the seconds, but of the tenths of a second, the hundredths of a second, as well as down to one one thousandths of a second. If we continued to let it run, it would give us the minutes and the hours. Now, when I stop this, watch our retrograde dial at the six o'clock position swing over to where it needs to be to keep track of the one one thousandths of a second. One two, three. Now, everything stopped right there. Now, this barely moved, but if I kept it running, there, that's moved to a different place for the one one thousandths of a second. And I can continue starting and stopping the timer down to one one thousandths of a second. Then if I wanted to hit reset, everything now goes back to the original start position. Now remember, all the time the computer inside of here is keeping track of the seconds of where that sweep hand should be. Because remember, this needs to be accurate to within 10 seconds per year. The average quartz movement is accurate to within 10 seconds per month. If you have an automatic or manual watch, mechanical, then it is accurate to within 10 seconds per day. Now that's a catch up to exactly where it needs to be and it's keeping track of time so that a year from now, this watch would only be 10 seconds, give or take, of where it is at this moment. Let me show it to you on my wrist and you can tell me what you think of this 46 millimeter watch. Now, Megan, of all the varieties of precisionist, you know, we have the big Champlain, mm -hmm. which is in silver or gunmetal. We happen to have the gold version of the precisionist, which happens to have the black bezel. We have this white version of the uh, Precisionist, which is the, the Wilton. Which one do you like best? Do you have a, a favorite? I like that the Wilton is one that you can dress up or dress down. Exactly. I think the Champlains are beautiful, but they are incredibly heavy and they're on thick bracelets. And those are the kind of watches that you wear and you get noticed in them, but you might not be able to wear it every day. This is the kind of watch you wear every single day. It goes with everything. Dress it up or dress it down. It's not too formal, but it's also not too casual. And I think, I, I think that offers the most versatility. But it's also that cool guy's guy watch because the movement inside, it's a real bragging, bragging rights. Mm -hmm. That's it. Have you seen it at this price, this watch at $189? Is that the lowest price we've ever put this watch think, at? It's well, we've got, got to holiday be. pricing. Yeah, we've got holiday pricing in full effect. Oh, and I can tell you right now, I have never, ever seen this watch at $31.67 to get it home. Are you kidding me? This may just end up right now on my Christmas list as a gift for someone. My son... 157727 will get you the Bulova Precisionist at 46 millimeters. That is a steal right now. Don't let that one get away. We don't want you to miss. Remember, holidays are around the corner. Let's get that shopping done out of the way. You said you were always going to do it. Haven't you always said this is the year you're going to have it all done on time? Well, you're going to be able to with us, and we'll send it right to your front door. Let's shift over to one more beautiful watch. How about the San Marco by Lucien Picard? Now, do you like this one, Megan? This is gorgeous. This is one of the Lucien Picards that when we were talking about the Optima in the first hour that had the crescent cutout for the oh, skeletonized yes. dial, this is another variation where portions of it are skeletonized, pieces of it are cut away, but the integrity of the dial still remains, so it's not so crazy inside to where everything almost gets lost, as mm -hmm. some of them are wont to do. This, I think, gives you that peak inside, but also it still maintains, it's not too wild and crazy. 
It is a very elegant timepiece. It almost looks Victorian to me. It's very Jules Verne. Uh, I don't want to use the word steampunk because it's just a little too elegant for mm -hmm. that. But you'll notice the Cote de Genève or the Geneva waves that are on that dial. Very elegant, almost gives a satin finish to the dial. There you have the cutaway at the lower third of the watch, which is for the open heart configuration with a beautiful filigree bridge. It gives you a skeletonized look, but only on the lower third. You also happen to have a peak through the watch with an open secondary time at the nine o'clock position. You then have, just for funsies, another window for balance there at the three o'clock position, which gives you a peak inside the watch. And as they come in even closer, you're gonna get a beautiful view of the rising sun there at your AM PM indicator that's at the 12 o'clock position. You'll notice that this watch with its, you know, all of its configurations is still beautiful on the front, but take a look at the back to see all the way through and realize the rotor has Cote de Genève, the second layer has Cote de Genève, those Geneva waves. There is the back look into that beautiful beating heart. Now you still have 30 meters of water resistance, Safatec crystal, one of the hardest, most durable crystals in the industry, 316L stainless steel. So you have all of that and the beauty of that dial. For $600 if you want to pay retail, $300 the wow price if you want to wait till midnight on Sunday. But how about right now, only $154.99. Can you believe that the secondary time zone and the AM PM indicator are all operated by a single crown? You don't have anything else interrupting that fluid look to the watch. And I think that just speaks of the complexity of the movement that they're able to do that running through one single device. You can get the watch for $25.83. We want you not to hesitate. Take a look at the watch before we move on. It's a 44 millimeter. Here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist and it is a comfortable fit. The watch was nice enough that I even bought it as a gift for someone and I think uh, it was the right one. That was the beautiful blue dial. I do want you to take a chance. If you, this is the right one, go ahead and order. If you want to, pause for a moment, take a peek at our website. This dial comes in other colors, styles, and configurations, and I want you to take a peek because I know we have just the right one for you. You'll see that that is a beautiful fit. Notice that because of the uh, deployant clasp on here that you can set this to any size by just lifting right there. There is a toggle that allows you to pick whichever one of the sizes best fits you. Once that clicks into place and you snap down one side on your wrist, simply thread that through and then complete the snap and you're going to find it's going to make the perfect fit every time. The deployment clasp is going to take the stress off of the leather. Think about your belt of how many times you've run it through that clasp and how the belt starts to wear. By using the deployant, it's going to save the wear and tear on this. I think it looks great and I think you will too. It's only $25 to get it home. $154 is the total price if you want to be able to just pay it all up front. 287754 for this beautiful configuration from Lucian Picard. Megan, I would love to show this watch, but somehow I just do not have the manicure for it. Oh, no, no, no. This deserves a lady's wrist. I love that we've got so many Michael Kors timepieces. And ladies watches for the show. Now, you know what's amazing is this is a brand new version of the 39 millimeter Parker that we have never aired before. You might remember that in our first hour, we had a Michael Kors Parker mm -hmm. on a navy blue strap that was all oh, gold. Oh, beautiful, tone. yes. This is a dressier version that's, I think, even more affordable, believe it or not. This is one of the only Michael Kors watches we've ever aired that uses a genuine A-grade mother of pearl dial. We don't often see Michael Kors watches with mother of pearl. And that's what we have in this dial right here. Now here's that 39 millimeter at a glance. It's a great size. As I said with the version that was on the leather strap, I love the 39 millimeter ladies. If you want to start wearing an oversized timepiece, but you don't want something that is so big, that is so bulky that it gets a little heavy or uncomfortable. With T-bar style lugs, the bracelet begins to conform immediately to the wrist. And as Wiley, you explained to me even, 
This is known as a carriage style case. And you can almost sit the, notice the way it sits up on the mm -hmm. wrist, much like that carriage. I want to get a closer shot of the mother of pearl dial because to me, that's the superstar. The mother of pearl and the crystals, which are set to look like diamonds. The Do you realize way, how expensive this watch would be if that was real diamonds? Yeah, I know. I was actually thinking that. I can't believe it's not more money with the mother of pearl. Oh, you're not kidding because uh, mother of pearl or nacre is a very, very expensive item to use because to cut the mother of pearl out of, of the shellfish, it, it takes so many to get just mm -hmm. the right piece. And here is, a, like you said, a grade A quality. And look, that, that's flawless, just flawless. It does make the watch almost look like you've got diamonds on the wrist because of that mother of pearl dial, too. I did not even know that this one was slated in the lineup for today. I think this is stunning. This one, or my hot pick, I think are the two most beautiful Michael Kors watches of the entire show. And we have so many. Look at the way the bezel set crystals are, the crystal set to look like diamonds, and then that warm and elegant rose tone. Thank you, Jenny. I just want to hold up very quickly another version which is the one that we aired earlier, so you can get kind of a, a compare and contrast of the two different versions here. Now this, coming into the shot here, is the one that we had earlier, which was on the leather, which I loved. I didn't think it could get any better, but it has right here. And of course, you can go to worldofwatches.tv. We've got the entire lineup posted if you missed the past two and a half hours or so. I love the fact that some people really want the leather strap, some people really want a metal bracelet, mm -hmm. and being able to offer both choices in such beautiful selection is gonna make somebody very happy. $90 off the retail price and six months to pay it off. That's something you won't find at the department store for Michael Kors. One eight six zero nine seven. What a nice unexpected watch there. Or if department stores do offer their line of credit, there's interest out the wazoo. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, most of the time you end up spending almost the same as you would buy, as the total price of the watch. Well, yeah, because you realize, wow, they've got 23% interest or some ridiculously high price. Not us. We, we take care of you. And speaking of taking care of you, what is one of those brands that certainly has its its heels uh, firmly resting in the world of surfing and beach life? This one right here. Well, look at the Style, name of the collection. Style, design. I mean, it's... I've seen Nixon for a long time, and there are several places in the mall that have them. And you have to really find them. And when you do, you're going to pay the premium price. And if they give you a little bit off, it might be 10 or 20 percent, you will never find this low of a price on a Nixon watch. The ride happens to be a great timepiece. And this all blacked out version with the Japanese movement on the inside and 100 meters of water resistance and that customized screw down back case and the black IP soft soft leather this leather feels like it has just been broken in for years and years and years that's because it's horween leather is it really you know that is one of the oldest continuously running tanneries in the united states that is amazing <laughs> i would not have expected it to have that high of a quality of leather oh yeah it is there it is there it is i should have looked more closely <laughs> i'm glad you have such good eyes Folks, this is one of the watches that would have been easy just to leave the whole thing blacked out with that little pop of color on the sweep hand uh, as well as at the small seconds and also with the date. Just gives a little visual interest. Hitting the pusher at, of course, the 2 o'clock is going to start our chronograph. And you'll notice that there are actually hands moving in all of the dials. There's your start, there's your stop, and there's your reset. I also like the fact that there's a bit of knurling on the ends of the pushers so that if you are out on the water or if your hands are wet, it's not going to slip off of the pusher. Because if let's say if you're out there timing something, particularly out on the water, uh, you want the watch to function uh, exactly as it should. Folks, there is such a weight to the watch. I mean, they have used such high quality material within the case, yet that very, very comfortable leather strap exactly what you were saying one of the oldest tanneries in the united states now let me slip this on the wrist i want you to see just how well this looks and how comfortable it is now this might be a little large for you megan it's a 49 millimeter absolutely yeah this would be just for my personal taste a little too large but they make ladies versions I was of just the about watches to say, we've got so many great nixon watches even on our website and nixon is a lifestyle brand they do clothes and hats and shoes and accessories and presidents so, <laughs> and president i'm not a crook but this is one of those things that you know we see it with technomarine even michael yes. kors 
you pay a retail price for a name brand. Mm -hmm. And Nixon is a name brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have taken years to build that name. You know, they've been around, believe it or not, since 1997. I would have said they're much newer than that, even more contemporary. Mm -hmm. But in that time, just like when Hublot decided to take the luxury watch by storm in 1980 and really thrust themselves forward, just like Techno Marine uh, wanted to create a sport luxury and they thrust themselves forward. Absolutely. Nixon wanted to make that lifestyle, that surfer, skater, uh, urban, but also uh, very outdoorsy personality, and they just hit like an atom bomb in 1997. And now, every young person knows it. I mean, if ah, you yeah, if, if you want a style brand, but you don't want to pay uh, an, an out of the world price of $500, or even our $300 price, which is just a little above dealer cost, here we are, well below the dealer cost, with 30. You know, but only 30% of the cost of the watch. Yeah, you want to impress your teenagers, your college-age kids. This is a great brand to do it with. $214.99, only $35.83 to get it home. That's your first of six stress-free interest-free payments. We are delighted that you are uh, that you're wanting to be able to get this home. And we want you to be able to get it home, too. Remember, we're going to pay for shipping. We are going to take care of, of the 30-day money-back guarantee. And you're going to get it after that very first payment. You don't have to pay all six to get the watch sent to you. Now, I think Nixon is a great choice. Boy, that's a comfortable watch. Jenny, do you like that one? You know, I like that one, too. All right. Coming up next... <clears throat> Two variations. You know what? We've got two to show you here. Which one are we going to go to first? But first, we'll show mm. you a little bit of a sneak peek at what we've got going on here. We have got a lot. of. Are these the uh, the Seikos? Yes, they are. Oh, these, I like that. This is cool. These are Seiko Monsters. These are spinoffs of Seiko Monsters. Mm -hmm. Seiko Monsters, believe it or not, are some of... If you mm -hmm. ever read on, on watch forums and with watch collectors... Seiko Monsters are one of those watch elections mm -hmm. that are really revered by many, many different people as being a staple item to have in your collection. There's something about them. They've been around for quite a while. As you'll see, these are a little bit more newer versions of the actual mm -hmm. original Seiko Monsters. So we've got two variations to show you. But these are from a name brand that has been around for, I mean, it's more, almost like the brand Rolex. Like, even if you don't know much about watches, chances are you've heard of Seiko. It is one of the most recognized name brands in the world. They started their first jewelry store in 1881, and by 1924, they were building watches. Now, when you think of both Seiko and Citizen, don't you think of the, the pinnacle in Japanese watchmaking Absolutely. and precision and technology? There is no apologies when you wear a Seiko or a Citizen watch. Our company, some of our Redline and Lucien Picard watches use Seiko manufactured movements inside. Without apology. I mean, those are some of the most accurate mm -hmm. and well-made. I mean, think about Japanese cars. Think of how well-made they are and how they change the American car industry. There are some Japanese movements that are going to be entry-level, and we'll tell you which ones have those movements in them. And then there are going to be ones that are going to be mid-grade, high-grade. And certainly with Seiko, you know you're getting the very best. So what do you get when you happen to have this beautiful, stylized, uh, unirotating bezel? Boy, that just moves with such precision, and I happen to love the yellow accent. I like that it's also got a little bit of texture to it, so yep. if you are wearing diving gear and gloves, you're very easily able to kind of manipulate that. Notice how it's recessed into this protective barrier or cushion that goes around with just enough space for your fingers to rotate the bezel. I like that because the previous version did not have, or the other style did not give you that case with the uh, stylized protection to mm -hmm. it. And I think this one was just the upgrade. You're also going to appreciate the fact with 200 meters of water resistance, you have a serious dive, in fact, a professional dive instrument. And Seiko happens to make one of the best looms with their, uh, their luminescence. I want you to see this. Of course, that's a hard lex crystal. Look at that. That looks incredible. Now, I want you to see this on the wrist, and then I'm going to show you the other version because the watch does a little trick that you, you don't want to miss. All right, take a peek. You'll notice that the watch is a perfect fit at 46 millimeters on my six and three quarter inch wrist. 
that is a great fit. Now, Megan, I'm going to hold up the other watch. I want you to give kind of a pull right there and let them see the elasticity. Now, see right there, I'm going to hold it still. Notice that it stretches just enough so that if this had to stretch over a dive suit, or if you have, uh, like I do, if when I go running, if I'm wearing one of my sport watches, mm -hmm. you know, you get a little bit of swelling. Yes, this absolutely. This watch has the ability to have a bit of give to it, so the watch is always going to feel comfortable but secure on your wrist. And you're going to certainly love, if you have a dive suit, a wetsuit, that this is going to be a perfect fit as well. Now, I happen to like this color and configuration. There is a generous amount of strap just for that reason, so that if you do have a dive suit, it's not just going to fit your wrist, but over your dive suit. But we also have another color and style of this watch. And uh, once again, you have to kind of make a choice, Megan, because we have the all blacked out version, which we'll show momentarily. And then we have the silver tone with the yellow accents. I like this one because I like the classic diver. I do too. I really do. But some people really, really, really like the all blacked out. Let me show you the other style, and you guys can tell me what you think of, uh, of both styles. Now, I like this. I mean, I think this one looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you take a look at it and realize that that has the classic look, exactly what you were describing, mm -hmm. do you have a hard time denying that that's not a sleek ninja-like watch? Yeah, no, it is cool, and I do like that there are a couple pops of some gold tone on there. Now, with the mm -hmm. movement inside, this is a movement that does hack. So what that means is when you pull the crown, it stops the movement. There's non-hacking and hacking movements, and the Seiko movements on here, they do hack. So when you pull the crown, it stops the movement. You can also get it operating just like he did, just with the shake of a wrist or holding it in your hand and giving it a good shake, too. Now, remember, if you want to get an automatic watch going, you can give a shake or two on the wrist. That is not enough to leave your house and power the watch, unless it's on a watch winder or you're wearing it every day. If you've let it set for a bit, just shaking it a couple of times will get the motion going, but it'll only last for moments. You'll do, you will need to do a complete winding. And with most automatics, you can wind without hesitation because a clutch will engage so that you don't overwind. Jet's the same way that keeps that automatic rotor from overwinding the watch. But if you do feel resistance, stop. You don't want to damage it. But this is an automatic. You would think at this price point, it's going to be a quartz movement, a really nice Seiko quartz movement. Instead, you'll never have to buy a battery. If you happen to have a dive watch or need a dive watch, unirotating bezel, 200 meters of water resistance, but you don't ever want that fear of going down at the ocean depth and then your battery going out, get an automatic because it will always be powered. You always have the ability to know before you go down that you have a full charge on there and that you are good to go. The polyurethane strap is certainly going to be corrosion resistant, as is that stainless steel case. Only $46.83 gets this home. $280 is our price, $400 after midnight on Sunday. If you want to go to the department stores, $495, that's a lot of money. We would much rather do it at $280. And Megan is right, that pop of gold just dresses up that all blacked out watch, doesn't it? All right, folks, go ahead, 278942, the Seiko 46 millimeter Prospects. What do you think about that, Megan? So here we're going to a Swiss-made watch that could have aired in our last hour, which was our collector's edition, all Swiss-made watches. But what we've got is a Swiss-made watch that's kind of the best of both worlds because it's also on six stress free, interest free payments. I'm gonna go right to the wrist with this. This is the Blue Genève. In the beginning of last hour, we had the 248 mm -hmm. millimeters with a Swiss made ISA movement inside. It was the ISA 8361. We've got another Swiss made ISA movement in this one, a newer movement that we've actually rarely, if ever, used with our company owned brands. But it's not necessarily a chronograph. In fact, it's not a chronograph, it's a multifunction. What's the I happen difference? I happen to think that this is one of the best movements because I think about with your watches what you actually need your watch to be able to do. Well, I have a chronograph. Do you, you would you use it though? Maybe, perhaps every now and then. In a sporting configuration, a chronograph allows you to measure the seconds down to the tenths or hundredths or even thousandths of a second, measuring minutes and hours, and that's great, but a multifunction does what differently? It's a breakout of your calendar, so you're able to have different complications reflected on your dial. For example, starting at the three o'clock position, it's a calendar date, except it 
It's operated using the top pusher. The nine o'clock position, when we come in a little closer, you'll be able to see it's the day of the week. So just like you would pull the crown one time, you'll set your little day of the week right over there. For me, I like that. I think I would use that more to be able to see the time, the date, and the day. Now look at the six o'clock position. It's an AM PM indicator, or is it? Using my lower pusher, I'm able to set off. Could that be a secondary time? That's exactly what I'm using it for here, a secondary time zone. So you've got two time zones reflected in one dial, or you could have it as an AM PM indicator. In this case, I would set this to the little 22 to signify a 10 PM, or a little 10 to signify 10 AM. So you've got a secondary time zone, your day of the week, and your calendar date. For someone like me that I have no need to ever really time something using my chronograph function on a watch, this works great. I love the A-grade mother of pearl dial. Notice how it's matched up beautifully with a genuine scratch resistant ceramic bezel insert. You get a 10 year warranty against scratching the Safatec crystal, which is a sapphire like glass here that is protecting your dial. So you've got the 10 year warranty on the Safatec and surrounding that is a ceramic bezel insert. The top of this watch, nothing's ever gonna show wear and tear there. Everything else is done in silver tone. It's a 200 meter professional grade diver. This is a watch you can wear to the office or to the beach. And it's Swiss made for 185 bucks. 287830. This is the smallest size of the Blue Genève collection. Right now, we are going up to the 46 millimeter. So we went from 38 to 46. Last hour, we had the 48. And floating around our website is also a 42. So we've got something for everyone. Now this is a three hand movement that uses the ISA 2331 movement. I love the fact that because people come in all shapes and sizes that for whatever reason the mad geniuses here decided to make sure that they had a watch size in the Blue Genève collection for anybody's configuration so that whatever looks best and feels best on you, that's the watch you need to get. And if you love an oversized watch and you have a small wrist, you go for it. And if you prefer a very small or classic size, I don't care how big you are, you buy what you like because we'll have the sizes. Now what we want to do is be able to show you on our wrist how that might look. Now the 46 millimeter happens to be the right size for me. I like the 48, but it's a little big. Once you go down below this, for this style of watch, I think it becomes too small for me. Now what I do love, and you're going to be able to see this, look at how well that matches my shirt. That, that looks fabulous. I mean, that's you wore just, a good shirt today, a lot of the blue watches. Well this shirt, just whatever watch you put on it, that color is somewhere in here. It's kind of like Jackson Pollock threw up on my shirt. <laughs> Take a look. I think that looks great. And it's interesting because Megan was talking about, even though you may have a white dial or a black dial, go ahead and get the blue one. You don't realize, gentlemen, how much of your world is going to have the color blue in it. Whether you like it or not, it's going to be there. And by having a watch that suddenly brings all of that out, I mean, that is the shirt I'm wearing. That is exactly the color that is in the piping on my shirt as well as in the background of it. I think you're going to find that this is also an attention-getting color. You will not be able to wear this without somebody saying, wow, that looks great. And then you're going to be able to tell them, oh, this is my all Swiss made Swiss legend. They're going to want to hold it and see it. And the moment you take that watch off and they feel the weight of it, they're going to realize the quality. Solid links all the way around on this watch. But notice, if I do nothing to the watch, the links waterfall straight down so that even if you have a smaller wrist, it's still going to fit. Now, the one of the things you don't have to worry about with the Blue Genève collection is that the watch is going to be too big because we have so many different sizes. Now, this, uh, what did you call it? The floptagonal? Dodecagon. There you go. <laughs> uh, the dodecagon shape that's of this watch is one that is reminiscent of a several different high-end manufacturers. And uh, we certainly cannot compare the two but Quorum has a unique shape, mm -hmm. and I think that Swiss Legend has created a very unique shape within this watch that eventually this collection is going to be noticed just by its silhouette. 
I also love the texturing that's within the dial. Notice in that beauty shot, there is that uh, great look of the texturing in the center part yeah. all the way to the outer chapter ring where you see the just a little bit oversized Arabic numerals. Look at how it's multi-level. So it's like the most sunken in portion is textured than the raised outer edge where the hand applied hour markers are to then the blue on the inside track ring of the dial to then the blue of the ceramic bezel insert. It's just like one step after another. One of the things that I appreciate about what you're talking about with the Safatec crystal and the ceramic bezel is that they're going to look that way for years to come. Absolutely. Because ceramic is so difficult to scratch or damage. Do not think pottery. You have to understand that. No, like, no, no, no. Because you may think ceramic, yeah, oh look, it's pottery, it's like a Hummel. No. This is, I mean, some of the high-end precision chef's knives that stay sharp forever have ceramic. They're made of ceramic. They've experimented with engines for cars out of ceramic because of their ability to take high temperature. So you have two very scratch resistant surfaces, all of them on one watch. Now, that's 287837 for the Swiss Legend, 46 millimeter Blue Genève, not $700, but at our ridiculously low price so that you don't have to pay retail. We never want you to. Now, TW Steel. These are very classic looking watches. We're just going to take a moment to mention these because we're going to run out of time, Megan. And I, you, there's a couple of pieces that you really want to show That's off. That's right. So as Megan is reaching across and clawing me out of the way to get to the <laughs> diamonds, yes, stick around, ladies, because we're showing you these big, bold lunk of watches, uh, the TW Steels, which are beautiful. I, I love the fact that it's the canteen-style protector over the crown. You have so much going on with this watch. Not $600. $260 is the wow price. $100. $139 for this 45 millimeter cool. It is all blacked out, the IP plating, comfortable on the wrist, custom in its design. Take a look at this and realize that this is great for that guy out there that really wants that customized oversized watch, but in a comfortable to wear style. The canteen style protector over the crown is really with the style element as well as that splash of color. 122693 is the TW Steel Cool. Don't let that one get away. Take another look at that one online. That may be just right for you. But one more configuration, quick peek. And there's your second variation of that watch with that pop of red instead of uh, the blue from before. But uh, before we go, you've got to see diamonds. You've got to see luxury. Ladies, you've waited as I've talked through this for the gentlemen. Now let's see what we have for you. Three carats of diamonds. And I'm not talking about a combined total diamond weight. I am talking about two variations of the 39 millimeter Keramica with three carats of diamonds. Four prong jeweler set around the bezel. Pave diamonds underneath a sapphire crystal. We're going to come in and show you a nice close-up shot of how scintillating these diamonds are. Perfectly matched, perfectly spaced. This is a great way to end our show today. Here we have a ceramic timepiece, just as Wiley was talking about. A ceramic timepiece that is hypoallergenic, that is scratch resistant, that is non-porous, basically guaranteeing you will have a watch that will, for every single day for the rest of your life, look like you just took it out of the box. Can you imagine that it also has three carats of diamonds? Looking inside the dial, you can see the beautiful circular pattern in which your pave diamonds are all set. And you'll notice they're all perfectly matched, perfectly spaced. Two rings, actually just over a carat alone in the bezel for prong jeweler set. This is the pinnacle piece. The list price of $2,500 is a bargain considering how much diamonds go for per carat. $550 is the total price and we're maxing it out. When have you ever thought about the fact that for under $100 down, you could get diamonds and this many? This variation is all done in beige. But I have one more I want to show you. I want to hold them up next to each other so you can see, and we'll transition. I'll try one of them on. Beige and silver tone, item number 70680. Making way now 
for white and yellow gold tone. We'll get the item number for you in just a moment. Which one do you like better, Megan? Here we still have the item number for the beige or cream as we're calling it. But I want to transition to the next variation. This is the one that I like as well. I love that the cream and silver tone is a beautiful neutral, but white ceramic is the most fashion forward. White ceramic, I think, pops the most. Now, it's not like you need to worry about getting any more attention or a watch that's going to pop on the wrist when you've got three carats of diamonds. But I want to create a scenario for you, if you will. Let's say once a month, you go out with your significant other for date night. Depending on where you live, depending on where you go, let's say you go out for a nice dinner, maybe you split an appetizer, a bottle of wine, two entrees. How much does that cost? I live in Miami, so I'll tell you it's $100 at least. For me, I order a number two. And then uh, I usually Sometimes order Sometimes I four. let it supersize it. That's right. <laughs> but think about this for a minute. $91 a month. 90, I'm just rounding up okay, to $92, let's say. If you can factor that in, you own three carats of diamonds. This is beautiful, and I have to just go back just for a second because, you know, I do a lot of weddings. One of the most popular colors for wedding dresses for the last couple of years has been that cream or ivory. So, you know, it, for some folks right now, the ivory color is very in. Either one of these variations is stunning, and I cannot believe that the all of these diamonds, that pave, beautiful diamonds, are within this watch. It looks gorgeous. To me, it's one of those things where... I know how much or I have an idea of how much jewelry costs, of how much diamonds are worth. And the fact that you can get three carats of them on a watch with a Swiss made movement, with a sapphire crystal, and solid ceramic. You know, you think about a watch like this and you think, oh my God, all these diamonds, I'd have to be so careful. We are going to get you that correct item number in just a moment. But you think, oh my God, I'd have to be so careful. I'd have to wear this and nothing, you know, I... It's ceramic it's and ceramic. sapphire. What are you going to do? You have to drop it into a blender to destroy it. You know, and I think this, and I love the fact that they're giving us just a clear shot of the watch because it's really allowing you without any of the interruption of the other stuff up there to see those diamonds. I mean, I'm taking a jeweler's loop right now. And what I love, and you can only maybe see this if you hold it just at the right angle, is that the Swiss legend and the diamonds are actually etched into... The back of the sapphire crystal. Yeah, they're not laid down on top of the diamonds. No, it's no. floating there. They wanted to make it so that the entire dial was totally encrusted with crystals. Now, we've talked a lot about the 39 millimeter case. I think this is a perfect size. The Swiss legend Keramica is the best-selling ladies watch from Swiss legend. And here, we've blinged it out, and you're on six payments. Megan, as I'm looking at this under the jeweler's loop, what you're seeing is a four-prong setting, and these are all fully faceted diamonds. That is amazing to me. Every single one of those stones is faceted within that bezel or the dial. Can we shift back just for a second? Do, do you have the graphics up for the cream one? So, I think we have them available at worldofwatches.com. Mm -hmm. These are under Swiss Legend Keramica. Unfortunately, we're having a problem with our graphics, but you are able to look them up. On tomorrow's show, we'll have a brand new lineup, but every single item from today's show will still be available for purchase while available. So feel free to do that. I am so, so, so deeply sorry that we're not able to get you the item numbers for these. Unfortunately, that's just one of the things about a live television live TV. show. But you have... Three carats of diamonds is at $92. It? Is that it? Oh, good. $92. Okay. So that is the item number, 70680. That's for the beige or cream with silver tone. Again, regretfully, we cannot find the item number for the white and gold. Ooh. But 
If you, you call can go that to number, World of Watches. Oh, or go to or World of Watches. Call, they they can look at it. We, we've got great teams of people. They will be able to, if you let them know that you want the Keramica in the white and not the, the cream, they'll get it for you. So don't hesitate. We don't want you to miss out because no, uh, there's limited quantity and we want to make sure you get just the right one, particularly if it's a gift for the holidays. You don't need to wait for that. All right. And with that terrible gaffe, it's time to say goodbye. But before we officially wrap the show, we're going to do a recap. We're going to start with the best-selling item of the show and go down from there until we say goodbye. Think of it as a highlight reel, or sometimes as we like to call it, a blooper reel. <laughs> so the number one selling item, remember we will be out here again tomorrow. <laughs> we will be out here again tomorrow with a brand new lineup. So you'll be able to shop everything from today, mm -hmm. plus tomorrow with our first hour being under 200, our second hour being all Swiss made, and our third hour being all six payments. And the prices and the stress-free payments mm -hmm. and all of that, they do expire <laughs> tomorrow at midnight Eastern Standard Time. So we wanna make sure that you got plenty of time to shop. Well, the number one seller is... Dun, dun, dun. My hot oh. pick of the show. 283056, the 40 millimeter Michael Kors Brinkley. Here you've got this gorgeous Mediterranean blue sunray dial and a combination of rose tone and silver tone with crystals set to look like diamond hour markers and in the bezel. $240 on six payments for a $400 Michael Kors. Sounds like Christmas came early. $40 gets it home. 283056. And right behind that, certainly this would look elegant on any lady's wrist. It's the Raymond Weil Jasmine. As you look into that dial, you'll actually see hand etched within the dial is the homage to the very jasmine flower that it is purported to get its name. It's a 35 millimeter watch, which is just the right size. That Goldilocks size It's going to be perfect for almost every lady out there. That beautiful rose tone still is wonderful in this all Swiss made watch, sapphire crystal, and of course the quality and construction that only Raymond Weil can bring us. $1,700, not for you. It's $1,000 at midnight on Sunday, but right now, did you hear this? $499.99, only $100 gets it home. And that's going to be your first of five stress-free, interest-free payments. Right behind that is going to be... Ah, the 48 millimeter Night Rally, a favorite of one of our friends here on the crew, 281694. Gun metal with pops of orange and red inside the dial. I love that the texture dial really resembles looking into the dashboard of a race car, because Redline is all about that racing inspired design. Soft touch black silicone strap, which I think is great because you've got this big case and then the silicone strap really makes it fit very comfortably. Four payments at $22.50 with a five-year warranty on the Japanese chronograph movement, 281-694. My hot pick happens to be one that really is a very special bargain because normally you would have to pay much, much more money to get the Big Bang King Black Magic by Hublot. Here, the Super B using that same HUB 1400 23 Joule Automatic by Hublot is an incredible value because you're getting the same look, style, and configuration, just two millimeters smaller, and you are getting an awful lot of visual pop. 291529 is going to get you this $7,000 watch for only $44.99. Coming in right after that, we open the show with a watch like this, 287681 from our own brand, Ben & Sons. 46 millimeter vintage inspired officer's watch. It's the Voyager. Five year warranty on the Japanese quartz movement inside. I love the soft touch brown leather strap. It really feels like an Broken old Broken in. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The first time you put it on, 65 bucks. You are so far under 200. What a great gift to give for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. 1625 gets it home. 287681. Brand new, never aired on the show before, is going to be the Lucian Picard 45mm uh, Amici. This is one of those great watches that is so incredibly comfortable to wear, has such a great weight and gravity to it, but only $89.99. We like this watch, and you will too, so go ahead and check out the website, Other Styles, Colors, and Figurations, just the right one for you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're back out here again, same time, same place tomorrow, with a brand new lineup. Don't forget to shop worldofwatches.tv. See you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.